Yo, hey, okay, uh, give me a second here, because I'm going to boost the music a little, just a little bit. Okay, anyways, ah, okay, it looks like Clawzard's here, actually. <laughs> okay, um, so, I'm just going to undeaf in here. Hey, Clawzord, I'm here. Yes. I, I assume you've been waiting for a while. <laughs> Sorry about that. I went, I went and did my business in the bathroom, and, uh, looks like I got... Yes. I'm getting my ass kicked in a gym challenge. Oh, which gym challenge are you doing right now, if you don't mind me asking? The psychic, like I was... Oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah, to be fair though, she's like level 40. So, I mean... You got like a bit of a level disparity there, so I mean... Most but... of my Pokemon are for, for, uh, 40 or pro. Yeah, not much you can really do about that, per se. Oh, that, that killed me. Um. Alright, well, anyways. Um, that should do the trick, I think. Okay, I'm, right now I'm just waiting for an ad to end. I'm just going to refresh the page here, just to make sure... Because I want to make sure that the ads are on And the I failed. Yeah, to be fair, I struggled with that, Jim. Because a lot of her Pokemon are like level 40, 42, something like that. Uh, the, not the gym yet. Oh, is it the tests where you have to like fight the, uh, the people in the yeah. uh, exercise area? Yeah. Yeah, understandable. Have a nice day. They can be pretty, uh, devastating, them people. Uh, well, anyways, I guess I can just, uh, start the game. Like, my, my Pokemon are mostly dark. Or have ah, dark moves. Yeah. Um, the thing is, though, I noticed that a lot of their Psychic-type Pokemon seem to have a lot of resistance to dark. For some reason. Uh, plus the test Pokemon don't have to be Psychic. Uh, the test Pokemon, uh, kind of are allowed to break the, the rules of the gym, necessarily. I know. Oh, also, um, I guess I recorded a small little clip earlier because I played a little bit off stream, uh, just mostly uh, breeding. And all I can say is um, my little water starter there is a fucking man whore. Uh, just saying. All to be fair, though, I expect this from Ditto. I do not expect this from my, uh, my water starter. Uh, although, to be fair, though, um, yeah, like, lots of eggs. Because I've been told that it takes a while, I just wasn't expecting to get so many bloody eggs all at once. Like, if I go to my boxes, um, just to kind of give you an exact idea. Like, got the, the four Quaxleys right here, and then you got two Sprigatitos, and then you got some more eggs yet to hatch. Oh. A Wingle with a, pillow, a Psychic ability. Hmm, that's not bad, that's not bad. That all is a one star, so I'll do this alone. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna hatch some more eggs anyways in the meantime, so I'm gonna basically just, uh... I'm more or less just doing the strat of running around this tower as I gradually go up and, uh, thing. Oh, also, um, I guess... Give me a second here, let me do one thing. There's one thing I want to do quickly. Um, because there's a streamer I want to shout out. Let's see if I can get the shout out working. Um, because I know I didn't have it working last time. Copy link. Okay, cool. Of course, we're hatching that. So, slash sh Shout out. Ah, of course, it's the Sprigatito. Okay, that should be it. Oh. Oh, fuck. I, fact, I fucked up. Um... I had a wingle. Uh, 
Oh, you started your uh, stream. Yep. And no, ah. you, Lauren. No, you, or Lotus, or. I'm not even watching. There we go. That's there we go. Got the shout out working. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, they're also streaming uh, Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet tonight. And um, fun fact, actually, um, I actually met them at uh, the midnight launch for the game. I uh, meant to do that a few days ago, but I forgot. So, uh... Ah, yes. Got that little, uh, thing there. Oh, yeah. Also, um, bred a bunch of these little buggers. Ooh. Like a so. rock, uh, night form. Ah, yes. Yes, of course. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, actually, let me, uh, let me just turn something off here real quick. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, is this going to be a Sprigatito, or is this going to be a Quaxley Egg? That's the important question. It's probably going to be a Sprigatito. Oh, no, it's a Quaxley, okay. I got a Laganrock Knight form. Ah, nice. Oh, yeah, didn't you say you uh, wanted the, uh, the Quaxley and the Sprigatito? Yes. Ah, All right, well, um, I guess I can engage a trade with you when I get the chance. Well, I mean, uh, which Pokemon do you want? Um, I'm trying to think. What Pokemon would I need? Oh, you know what? Uh, you'll, you'll see. You'll, you'll know what I need, I guess, because they'll be shaking, I guess. So I can just offer you one of those guys, I guess. Do you have the Bell Pepper looking Pokemon? Uh, Bell Pepper looking Pokemon? No. Um... Probably not. The name is... Uh, Booby Monkey. Oh, oh, Bird. Yeah, yeah. Skull Villain. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The Skull Villain. Okay, I got two more eggs to hatch. Oh, not Monkey. Okay, it's a bird. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I will say, I do like the pattern on the floor here. Because I love that it's like an homage or a callback to like the old Pokemon games. The grass and a fire Pokemon. I think one of my eggs is about to hatch. Oh god, uh, check my DMs. Oh god, should I be scared? Let me see this. Let's see this yeah. cursed imagery. Oh Speaking right, you, you already sent me that. That's a image edit of Venom with a pacifier in his mouth. That's fucking weird though. That no, we're not gonna give this Brigatito a nickname. Oh, wait. Oh, another egg is hatching. Well, uh, on the upside, uh, because I've been r free roaming and letting my Pokemon do some passive battles, the uh, Sprigatito's got some level ups. <laughs> You're doing the community a favor. Of course. Of course. All right, all right. Give me a second. I mixed myself some lemonade in my uh, shaker today. You bugger with your curse. Oh, that is tart. That is tart. Oh, I'm going to have to add some sugar to that later. Ugh. So who's in the ch uh, chat? Uh, it's uh, Lauren right now. Oh, uh, Lauren? Yep, right now. Hi, Lauren. You can hear me. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's set this up. Okay, um, okay. You said you wanted a Sprigatito, so let's set up a Poke Portal trade. 
All right, right, right. Oh, Remy, okay. Remy, Remy. Sorry, I, I keep calling you by the uh, the old um, the old name. I guess. Sorry, really shouldn't be dead naming. Sorry about that. <laughs> Wait, so it's not Lauren? Well, it, it's, they they used to be called Rem, uh, Lauren. They're called Remy now. Oh. Uh. So that, that's why I was making the dead naming comment. Let me connect to the interwebs. Okay, um, oh, actually, I should probably connect online, too, now that I think about it. <laughs> Derp. Well, thank you for reminding me all the same. I mean, I didn't think of it until you mentioned it. Oh. Good um. to know about the news. So, let's go link trade, set up a link code. Let's go 6969. Sixty-nine, eighty-nine, boom. Begin search for trade partner. Ah, oh, fair enough. I mean, I don't. Know. I mean, people still call. Some people call me by my old online handles. Cause, like, uh, here's the thing. I I used to go by like some really cringy names, which I will not bother revealing. Okay, okay, um, uh, here's a question. Do you want a level 6 or a level 10 Sprigatito? Actually, you know what? Here, I'll, I'll trade you a level 10 Sprigatito. That'll save you a bit of time. Okay. Do you want this? Uh, you know what? I do not have one of those, so sure. Gladly, I will take that. So I'm saving you a bit of time. I leveled it up to level 10. Not even intentionally doing that, but... And I'll trade you a Quaxley. You can just trade me whatever for it. Uh, the um. Quaxley is also going to be level 10. Oh, right. Burdur, burdur, burdur. I had to press a button. I forgot. Sorry. I forgot the host trainer has to press a extra button input. And because I'm the host trainer, I have to press the button input. There you go. One weed cat coming up. And one bell pepper looking Pokemon coming up. I'm not going to lie. It looks like a bell pepper dragon. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fire and grass type. Eh, that is an interesting typing. I mean, you can sort of see it in the design. Yeah. I got Sprigatino. Oh, it evolves from that one thing I already caught. Okay. Um, and here you go. Oh, uh, this uh, Quaxley is uh, a predominantly uh, spe physical attacker, so you'll want to mostly focus on giving him physical attack moves. From what I can tell. Because he's got 20 base attack and 15 special attack. So, uh, I, I guess just off or anything. I don't really care. Actually, no, I'm, uh, I'm going to offer, uh, uh, um, offer the streamer that I was I shouted at earlier. How about uh, Gibble? Uh, sure, I mean, I already have one, but I can always surprise trade that, I guess. Yeah. So, it's all good in the hood. Waiting for other players' decision. Yeah, yeah, give me a second. I forgot I have popcorn. Okay, let's lower the res. I'm going to mute the audio for a second. Of there we go, Quaxley. And thank you for the Pokemon. Okay, so now you got both starters. Yep. So now you got the for... complete set. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna.
Okay, I'm just gonna message them on their chat, asking if they need the water starter. Noodle burb. bird. Okay, you know what? Um... Oh god, okay, um, I know I have, like, their stream audio on, but it's, like, really fucking... Ah, whatever. Okay, I'll just... I'll... I'll come back to it later, I guess. Let's, uh, get this Pokemon counter. You know, I'll... Okay, I'll just boot up their stream, I guess. Give me a second here. Because I could not catch a word they said because of how quiet their stream was to me. There we go. I got the weird lo weird looking ostrich looking thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. Oh, it got rid of Insomnia and got Blaze. Okay, um... Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll... I'll ask them later, I guess. For some reason, the, uh, the audio is being really dumb on their thing. That electric Pokemon that can do a dragon move. Or, uh, let's, yeah. Okay, let's just throw a... Dusk ball at this thing because it's sort of about to be dark. I think it's I think it's dark enough out. Oh no, not dark enough apparently. Oh oh okay. Let's hit it with torch song and hopefully not kill it. Oh god damn it, it just killed itself. Don't you love it when that happens? Maybe. Wait, where are you where are you trying to catch? Uh it's a ghost Pokemon. I can't remember the name of it right now. Uh unless I had like the name in front of me. It's got like a zipper for a mouth. Oh yeah, yeah. That is a uh, hard ca catch. Yeah, the damn thing used curse and killed itself. No, you're you're not evolving. You're staying a Sprigatito. Okay, let's go boxes. Let's put these Pokemon away, so I don't accidentally level these things up anymore. Let's bring back in my normal party. Uh... Yeah, let's get rid of... We don't need near as many fires as I have out, so let's... There we go. There's my usual team. Okay, let's see. Let's go Dragon Claw. Okay, 
let's try Great Ball now, and we're just going to catch this thing. Okay. What do I think it is? Yeah, it was uh, Goth the Radio. It's, it's like Goth. No, 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 no. I think I found a Venomot. Huh. Dan. Neat. I think I'm good for dens for now. I think I'm denned out since last night. <laughs> oh, there's a Cinity next to me. I guess I'm going to be catching that after this. Now let's throw a quick ball at this thing, because I just engaged the battle, so I might be able to just catch it right away if I do the quick ball quick enough. This might be a Venomot. I'm not sure. Uh, apparently not. Oh, stealing my ability. Yes, it is a Venomot. Okay, let's go U-turn. I mean, Venomot is not a bad Pokemon. It's at least decent. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's go with Gibble. Gibble! Do the bite thing! Oh, it's stealing my ability now. Oh, it's gonna kill itself. What, the uh, Zipper Mouth Pokemon? Yeah, it's, uh, Benet. Because I saw the name in front of me. It, it just used Curse, which cuts half of its HP off, but it was l well below half HP, so it killed itself. Ah, Gibble's evolving. That dragon Pokemon you traded me literally just evolved. Hmm. So, Gibble evolved into Gabite. Which I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I think it evolves one more time after this? Not 100% mm -hmm. sure. Oh yeah, I can definitely see it evolves one more time because there's an empty space in the uh, the Pokedex for it. Mm-hmm. Into Garchomp. Yep. Well, guess I'm getting Sinity. Let's go with Aerial Ace, I guess? Defense fell, but attack goes up. Seeing as it's weaker than me, I guess uh, Nest Ball could work, but uh, let's try an Ultra Ball, I guess. Only got one of these left, so fingers crossed it works, I guess. Oh, and it worked right out of the out of the gate. Cool. We e e e e e e e e e e. Give Star Raptor a break. Uh, let's, okay, let's not bother giving it a nickname for now. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, let's try Dragon Claw. Okay, it's adopting shed skin. And we'll throw a premier ball at it and hope for the best. Do you use uh, seed bomb in yours, Pigatino? Uh, yep. Seed bomb's a good move. God damn it, every fucking time. I really should just not kill this, weaken this thing at all and just let it weaken itself. Oh, 
clef key. Um. Oh, this little fucking thing. Uh, let's throw a quick ball at it, I guess. Nope, uh, clef key broke out. Okay. Let's go U turn. Okay, if I remember correctly, Clef Key is a steel ghost type. So, ooh, due to it being of the steel precision, all of my fire attacks and ground type moves should be super effective, which uh, that is the case with my Chardet and my Gabite, but the problem is uh, highly injured. Uh, you know what, let's try chart it and see if I can just hit it with a little bit of fire and hopefully not kill it in one shot. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. It used Draining Kiss and healed itself up the bit of damage that I dealt from last attack. So let's hit it for Flame Charge and hopefully this thing doesn't kill me. Okay, bag. Hyper potion. That should do the trick. Okay, recycle. What the hell is recycle do? Does that require like it to be holding an item or some shit? I feel like that requires it to be holding an item for some reason. Okay, let's see. So, because the quick ball didn't work, let's try great ball. Oh, I at least got clef key. Uh, speaking of Clef Key, uh, do you need one? Because <laughs> I got one now. Clef Key doesn't evolve, so I'm not really in need of it uh, for anything beyond what I already got out of it. What the hell's okay, let's try the Benite again. Oh shit, Fracture is um, one, one level, one health. Okay, let's try so, Dragon Claw again. Okay. <sighs> okay, it's just using roleplay. That's fine. Switched out its frisk for shed skin. Let's see. I feel like I could probably just bring in Gyarados, and Gyarados can probably do the remaining bit of damage. Hopefully I can catch this little bugger. I love how there's like a, a pink sheep right behind me. Oh, for God's sakes. Why does this thing just every bloody time, it just kills itself? Uh, sure, let's learn Aqua Tail. Yes. Uh... <laughs> hey, what's up? Okay, let's see. That's a 90 with 90 accuracy. Yeah, you know, it's great. Let's get rid of Tackle. Why the hell not? Oh, uh, speaking of Pokemon, um, do you need the starters? I got a bunch of copies of starters. Did some uh, attempted breeding earlier. Got Quaxley. Got Spriga. <laughs> yeah. It was all like, God is great, and then it freaking just went and made itself explode. I don't have your switch on here right now? Okay, I, c I can hold one for you if you'd like. I'll probably wind up with more eventually. 
Uh, let's try U-turn. Then I'm going to switch to Gyarados, and hopefully this thing just decides to curse itself right away. So we're going to use Gyarados, and then we're going to use Rain Dance. And that's... Okay, so you need the Fire Starter. Okay, I can breed the Fire Starter. I'll have to breed it anyways, because I need to get the uh, eggs for it. Because what I want to do is I want to, like, just do a bunch of surprise trades randomly, just for the hell of it, and then throw the uh, starters in. There, let it kill itself with the curse. Or not kill itself. There you go. There we go. Now hopefully it doesn't decide to be stupid this time and kill itself with the curse. Oh, for... This is getting annoying. It's gonna curse itself, isn't it? Oh, okay. Uh, let's try... Hmm. I mean, if I can hold out for, like, another turn, I could probably just use the timer ball. At least that's my thought, anyways, on the matter. Okay, so he's hitting me with Curse again. Okay, let's try... You know what? Just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna throw a regular Pokeball at it. I swear to God, if this thing works, I'm gonna be pissed. Well, no need to be pissed. Why did it break free? Well, I mean, yeah, I, I said I'd be pissed if it did work, so it didn't work, so I'm not pissed. Okay, let's try the timer ball. Timer ball should be effective now, because it's been long enough. Holy go goats. Because uh, the timer ball uh, is more effective the longer the battle's been going on, so... Well, I finally got the damn thing. I need all the ghosts. I'm wondering if Hone Edge is in this game, because Hone Edge is like one of my favorite ghost Pokemon as well. Like I, I, I just love that sword Pokemon. Especially if I can get it into Dewblade. Can't go wrong with like a literally a floating sword that just attacks people for me. Literally can't go wrong with uh, floating swords of death. At least that is my opinion on the matter. Uh, okay. Hmm. Let's heal my Pokemon up, I guess. Okay, I see a raid den off in the distance. I'm gonna go check it out. This could be something I need, could be something I don't need. You never know. Holy shit, you... What the hell is with all the Go-Goats? Uh, okay, I found a flying Voltorb. I think I'll pass on that. I feel like I went into the wrong neighborhood. Why the hell do I feel like one of those go-goats is going to turn around with a baseball bat and be like, You picked the wrong house, foo! Speaking of go-goat, I got one. Okay, let's, uh...
What the actual hell? Oh, I'm sorry. Um. All right, this thing again. All right. This bloody Pokemon. Is it like a f future variant of it or something? Hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's like a robotic looking turkey looking thing. Bring out uh, Meowscaretta. And then we'll just use a Great Ball on this thing. Oh, you little... I'm gonna burn this thing. I'm not even a fire type, but I'm gonna burn this thing. I'm just going to burn it for the hell- just to say I can burn it. I know I can't physically burn it because I'm not a fire type, but I will burn it. <laughs> just out of pure frustration and rage, I will burn it. There's a den down there. Uh, never mind, that's not even worth it. Ah, oh, there we go. That's that. Yeah, this is that Pokemon you were talking about earlier, the Bomberder? Bomberder? Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm seeing that little Pokemon that sort of resembles a dolphin behind it in the background, so I might have to try to catch one of those later. U turn. Yeah, I love U turn. It's a fun bug move. But also, it lets you, like, switch your Pokemon out temporarily. With, uh, something else. Here, I'm just gonna put myself here. There. I'm out of the way. I don't think it matters if I cover up a Pokeball button prompt. Let's go... Dragon Claw, I guess? Ah, oh, perfect. There we go. He's weakened up enough. So, Great Ball. Oh, and it broke out. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course it would break out. Oh, there's a Cloyster in the background. I'm gonna have to try to catch that later. But, also I'm gonna have to go for that Dolphin, too, but... Dragon Pulse. Uh, what's Dragon Pulse do again? Okay, Dragon Pulse. That's special. Does 85. Has 100% accuracy. It is technically better than Dragon Claw, but at the same time, because I'm a physical attacker, not a special attacker, uh, not really worth grabbing. I'm leaning heavily towards specific types of moves for specific Pokemon. Uh, you know what? I'm going to come back to this area later. I don't really feel like spending too much time trying to catch everything. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just go here. Go... Oh, no, sorry. Not here. Here. Oh, right. I remember. There is actually a Pokemon I wanted to catch, though, specifically. Uh, okay, so I, I got a guide on where to encounter it, which is Bronzor. According to the map... Well, that is a thing on the thing. Uh, okay. Okay, here we go. Um, according to this, uh, not too far from where the lighthouse is on the map. So, one tile over. So, around here. 
So, probably about here, I would imagine. Probably on this hill right here near my house. If I had to guess. That's just an educated guess. So, I figure what I can do is fly over there. And if I can get some bronze ores to... <laughs> murder! I should be good to go. But uh, let's, uh, let's first get out of here, I guess. Okay, I'm assuming I'm going to need to go up like this. Okay, so I still need to go. Wait, bronze oh. ore as in the bell looking Pokemon? No, that's uh God. the bronze ore like the one that looks like a metal. Like a oh. giant coin. It evolves into the bell, so you're not that far off. It's just I wanna defeat a bunch of these really quickly and easily. So I'm deliberately choosing the weaker of the two. Because I want to kill a bunch of these so I can get the uh, the medals. Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing I must not be in the right area or something. That or it's more off to the side than I initially thought. Okay, I need to do the backwards jump again. It's amazing how effective the backwards jump is for, like, uh, reducing the amount you slide down ledges in junk. Like, you cover about the same amount of distance, it's just... You slide a lot less when you F up the jump. So for all intents and purposes, it's actually better to backwards jump up some ledges. I got really good popcorn. Really? And you didn't offer to share me any. Ugh, you bastard. <laughs> oh, whatever will I do with you? Oh, whatever will I do with you? Well, if you want some, come t come down to Kansas. Go, no, but if I do, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, I'll be right there. Give me, give me like fucking several days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, part of me actually wouldn't mind actually visiting the states. Plus, I've heard Kansas is nice. Although I probably wouldn't want to visit this time of year, mostly because I I know it can get pretty cold during the winter. Mm-hmm. If anything, I would want to visit during the spring or fall season. Where it's not too hot, but not too cold at the same time. It's just right. To quote Goldilocks. I know that's kind of a weird uh, character to reference. God, God damn. Oh, 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 no, no, no. God damn gravity. Okay, let's consult that guide again. Maybe I maybe I'm looking in the wrong spot. Let's see. Uh, okay, you know what? Oh, I see. Okay, it has a low encounter rate in that area I was in. Okay, so I need to pick a spot that has a higher encounter rate. Okay. Uh, let's see. According to the map, the ones that have the higher encounters are over on this side, around around this dirt patch right here. So around here. So if I go for this watchtower and go south from there, there's like an L formation sort of shape according to what I can see on the map. So just head south from here and I should be good, I think. 
That's north, so I need to head... I saw you little turd burger po poking your head out. Hmm, actually, you know what? I guess one thing I could also do to help aid things is I should use an item to boost the... Um, the hell is it? Uh, boost encounter of steel types. If I have the right food items, that is. Hey, uh, do you want to do a Hatterene, uh, den? Uh, she's a ghost type for this den. It's a uh, three star, by the way. BT dubs. I don't. Uh, what? A Hatterene. It's the. No. It's that fairy Pokemon from the previous generation mm -hmm. that um, Bead used a lot. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. This one's a ghost Pokemon for its tiara form. I'll set up okay. the, the. I'll set up the den. Okay, the code is 3GYD9B. Okay, uh, because it's a ghost Pokemon. Ideally, I'm going to want a Pokemon that knows ghost. And... Damn, a three-star Pikachu with a ice-type move. Uh, I mean, to be fair, though, Pikachu's kind of a dime a dozen. I'm not really too concerned about Pikachu. It's like, you can get a Pikachu anywhere, really. Well, yeah, what's the code? Uh, three. Three G Y, D nine B. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Also, I was digging through my stuff earlier. I'm, I'm gonna say right now. I just realized I have a lot of empty cardboard boxes just randomly lying around. I'm gonna have to throw out. So a dark move. Would dark moves work against this? Uh, dark ghost and psychic would be ideal, I think. This is uh, normally a fairy type Pokemon, so you shouldn't have to worry about it springing ghost moves on you. Although I think it can learn like a couple ghost moves normally. Like, um, I, I think it can learn Shadow Ball. I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, to be fair, I never really used this Pokemon all that much. Even last gen, so... Can't really say if I'm too familiar with it. I mean, I had the... The... The D-Max version of it, though. Like, the special D-Max uh, version. Okay, let's go Nightshade. Berto's swing has no effect on me. Oh, or it, it wasn't just uh, paralyzed me. Lovely. Well. Well, I figure one more hit should do the trick. I'm going to use Draining Kiss on this thing. Or you'll just uh, hit it with whatever and get the job done. <laughs> Hey, it works. If it works, it works, right? Yep, my Krakorai has dark move. Has a dark move. I kind of figured. It's like, what is it? Like Shadow Claw, or Bite, or some shit? Uh, Crunch. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's basically Bite in a nutshell. Because I mean, Bite and Crunch are the same thing, basically. Except I'm pretty sure Crunch does more damage than Bite. Mm-hmm but has a slightly lower accuracy. But it's, like, marginal. So, like, unless the opponent Pokemon, like, significantly raised its evasion and lowered your accuracy by a large margin, you're not going to miss with, like, 95 accuracy. 
on a move. Your Pokemon would have to be, like, suffering complete and utter brain damage to miss. Under normal circumstances. But, hey, hey don't, don't, don't judge. Don't, don't judge in here. Ah, there you go. Hatterene. Huh. For some reason, I was under the impression it was a fairy type. I forgot that it was psychic. Shows how much I used it. I think when it's fully evolved, it becomes a fairy psychic, but... Hmm. Oh, hey, Mitchell. What is up? What is new in the hood? That is what the kids say, right? Oh, okay. Got, uh... That there. Not there. Hmm, okay. So... Oh. Oh, God damn it. Okay, I need to... I need to do a rear long jump. Haha! <laughs> Fuck the normal route! Scale the side of the mountain by jumping backwards. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I, I love the fact that I discovered that little trick. Like, it's not even that impressive either. It's like a minor exploit in how the animations work. So I don't see that one getting patched anytime soon. If they ever patch it at all. Aqua Cutter. Okay, let's see. Uh, if I pull up my map, I am... Okay, actually, I'm a bit too far south, I think. Let me take a look at my guide here. <laughs> Basically. Uh, okay, actually, no. Um, okay, cool. Okay, it uh, looks like I'm in the right spot, Roughly. Um, okay, so what I can do is just head a little north and a little... Okay, so I'm guessing around here, most likely. In this little area here is where I need to catch the Bronzor. Okay, so... Um, so west of here, so around here somewhere. So I should probably set up a picnic to increase uh, steel type spawns. Uh, not at the moment. I'm uh, trying to keep things a little uh, low key right now. Actually, that's mm, actually not okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reduce my party down to nothing but the fire starter. Okay, so I'm gonna put the fire starter. Uh. Oh, well, that was loud. Um, I don't know why the, that that like unnecessarily startled me. Okay, I'm gonna have to add a ditto to my party. Excuse me. Sorry. You you okay there, dude? <laughs> Yeah. What the hell did you drink, dog? Mountain Dew. Okay, fair enough. Ha have a nice day. That, that, that's what the kids say, right? I, I don't yeah. know what the kids say. I don't really pay attention. Uh, okay, what the hell am I after? Oh, yeah. The kids, the, the kids say, ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... That's dumb that you can't set up a picnic while you're riding the Pokemon. Okay, uh... How about here? Can I set up a picnic in this direction? Okay, so we're gonna set up the picnic. 
the right Pokemon can't breed, and we're gonna make a peanut butter sandwich. So, peanut butter sandwich, which gives me the egg power. The f this little pick here doesn't really matter, so I'm just gonna put the magical heart pick, I guess. It's basically just a peanut butter banana sandwich. Sludge bomb. I'm just doing some exploring, I guess. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, I mean, at least it's put together, at least. Hmm. Okay. Let's eat this monstrosity, I guess, of a peanut butter banana sandwich. That's, like, lopsided as hell. Gotta love that eating animation, by the way. Okay, so the peanut butter sandwich increases the chance. And then the little trick I did uh, prior to thing was basically I did like a quick little run around without looking at the table so that they could potentially produce an egg while I wasn't looking. It's like, you know, give the Pokemon time to breed while I'm not looking. Let's see how much of a man whore my Pokemon is. Okay, uh... Okay, one more lap. I should be able to check on it. And there we go. Okay, that should be enough. And I checked the basket. Okay, nothing in there. Ditto? Come on, come on. Do I, do I, I'm gonna throw a ball in here. Let's get the ride Pokemon out here. Is, is that what's going on here? Is, is the ride Pokemon uh, blocking you? Uh, clam jamming? Uh, what the, I, I don't know. I don't know the words. Um, rock blocking? Sock blocking? I don't, I don't know. Is, is, do you need? Oh, gotta love that this little spin. Okay, let's see. Did they produce an egg while I wasn't looking? You little... Come on! Get it on with Ditto! Get it on with Ditto. 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 You're the only one I need eggs for! Come on! You two are supposed to be smashing, come on! It's not every day I, I, I'm going out and demanding Pokemon, you know, just bump nasties or anything like that. Come on. It's like, Becky, please! I made you peanut butter and banana sandwiches! That's supposed to put you in the mood! Come on! That's how this works! Come on, I, I made you peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Oh yeah, that's right. Do, do, I, do I need to play the music? Smooth jazz meme. Uh, let's see. Um, let me just put this on here. Um, okay, Google? Smooth jazz meme. These pictures should match. Oh, there we go. Sexy smooth jazz. There we go. Hopefully I don't get DMC'd for this. Yeah, I figure 11 seconds is good enough. I don't want to play any more than that to run the risk of DMCA. Uh. Ah, there we go. There's an egg. Okay, the smooth jazz worked. Okay. It, it aided and embedded in their, their mating ritual. Wow, okay. Uh, wait. How many... Okay, three... 
Three, four eggs? Um, oh god, five eggs? Six, okay, okay, the smooth jazz is working a little too well. You fucking whore! I wasn't expecting you to operate that hard, that quick! Wow! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, uh, packing up the picnic. Okay, we don't need any more. Okay, we, we got it. Ditto, uh, ditto worked his magic. The smooth jazz definitely helped. Goddamn. 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 Okay, well, we don't need Ditto anymore, so put him in there. Right now, where the hell are my eggs at? Okay, that's four. I, I know I had... Oh, fuck, I, okay, I have a whole party of six eggs. Well, uh... Guess I'm hatching eggs now. Although to be fair though, I feel like more people are gonna need the, the fire starter though, so I can probably do my mystery trade thing. And that should get me some positive reception, so to speak. Wait, is this that raid den I completely bypassed earlier? I feel like there was a raid den I I skipped earlier. Is this the one I skipped earlier? Is there... Okay, it looks like there's a gate that way? Okay, um... I'm probably going to want to put at least three Pokemon on party to, before I go in there, because I'm going to have a bad time if I don't. Oh, time to jump off cliff. Ah, oh, it's a dark Wee. base. Okay. Wait, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Maybe Ooh, I am. Dratini. Dratini. Oh, call me a sassy little kid, eh? Okay, well, time to murder. And I'll do it with just one Pokemon. I'm doing it with a severe handicap. Fuck. A Dratini with electric. Okay, Torch Song. Um... Oh, not gonna lie, I thought this thing had... she had more than one Pokémon. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like those star glasses really kind of hide the expressions she's making. Outside of her, her mouth moving, like, she... I don't, her body language is telling me that she's pissed, but her face is telling me... I don't want to be here. At least that's the vibe I'm getting off of it, but I could be very wrong. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have to adjust my party. Oh, okay.
Oh, okay. So they do DJing and shit. Okay. Yeah, I almost had it. Or it's dragon hair. Okay, so I gotta adjust my party because I don't need a party of all eggs. That is just asking for a bad time. At least I think it would be asking for a bad time. Get in the ball, dragon air. Okay, I'm trying to think. Uh, probably gonna want to have a fighting Pokemon in the, in the lead, so. Uh, I'm trying to think. What else is strong against dark? Okay, easy way to check. Okay, Google. What Pokemon are strong against dark types? Okay, according to this... According to IGN, dark type Pokemon are weak to bug, fairy, and fighting type Pokemon. This means moves that are any of these Bug types and fighting. 160% is effective against dark type Pokemon and good choices for countering them. Okay, so Bug Fairy and fighting. Okay, so Gardevoir is a good pick. Uh, Cyclozar will be a good pick to have because it has bug moves. Same goes for Meowskerade. Uh, you, not so much. You can go back. Uh, let's switch back to things so I can actually see the chat. So I'm not just hiding behind a screen of text. Let's see what else we got. Okay, you're a bad pick because psychic type, but... Oh, you'll do nicely, sort of. Just need to level you up. There we go. Dragon arrow was caught. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, um... I guess Mimikyu? Fighting... Fairy... Fairy, okay. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I guess... Frostless? Freak? Good, uh, no, 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 not, not Frost Lass, no. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, I need a Pokemon with, uh, either Bug, Fairy, or... It was Bug, Fairy, or Fighting. That was it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this... Phalanx would work. Why hold on, I think, of putting Phalanx in the party. There we go, phalanx. There we go, this ought to help me get my levels in. Plus also, phalanx needs to level up a bit. I figure the other Pokemon will back up phalanx. And I can just use the vending machines to restore phalanx's health as he will inevitably die. Okay, it's the same dialogue, basically. Defeat 30 Pokemon within 10 minutes, blah, blah, blah. Break legs, blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, I will do this. I'll break their legs. Okay. Okay, where the hell is the other... Pokemon. Okay, they're over here. Okay, this is not proving to be very difficult. Just more frustrating, because... Ah, oh, there we go. Sneasel. Oh. Well, 
this is proving to me. He's... Come on, come on. Let me attack these Pokemon over here. machine. Where the hell are the rest of the Pokemon at? Oh, there we go. There we go. God, I hate how frustrating this can be sometimes. Like, I'm not a huge fan of the Star Dens, to be honest with you. They're, they're kind of annoying, but I know that you need to do them so you can get to the end game stuff. Uh, and there's your modified room thing. Star Dens? What? I'm um, basically doing the Star... They're basically Star Bases, like, you know, because there's a Star Gang, so I'm calling them Star Dens. Oh, Team Star? Yeah, yeah, I'm basically taking on the Star... Compound, basically. Oh. I'm taking on Team Dark for their, uh, for Team Star. DJ Vice. Okay, I feel like he's gonna be using Dark and Ghost types mostly for some reason. Well, I mean, obviously he's going to be using dark types because it's a dark den, or a dark base, so... I'm just saying, it wouldn't surprise me at all if he uses uh, some ghost Pokemon to throw, uh, mix things up a little bit. Oh, we got a dark steel type right off the bat. Okay, let's see. What's the next Pokemon? Come on. Whip it out. Whip it out. Whip it out. Rev Room? Okay, that's the car engine, I think? Or it's the car Pokemon? Wait, he's whipping out his car that quick? Okay, um... Oh, it's only level 20. Okay, I feel overpowered. Okay, this thing is, like, way too bloody weak. Okay, let's just terraform just for the hell of it. I probably don't even need to do this, I'm just doing it for the hell of it. This definitely made things a lot easier. I f okay, I definitely did the dens out of or the the star bases out of order because this star base is like way too easy compared to the other ones. Because this is level twenty. I think the one I did before this was like level thirty or something. So I definitely did them out of order. Oh well, I can't complain too much. Ah, another one of these flashbacks. Ow. Okay, out of these members, I've already defeated the the ninja and the the fire chick there already. So I just need to defeat um, Magic Boy over there and uh, Rocker Chick over there. Or was that? I do like his headphones. Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm gonna assume, based off his design, he's either gonna be using fairy Pokemon or psychic Pokemon. Or a combination of.
<laughs> wow. So he was student council president, but he went overboard with some of the codes of conduct. Okay. Well, I mean, it's kind of neat that I'm at least discovering a little more about these guys' past. So it seems like they're basically, in a sense, like... I, I think out of the, the Team Star members, I think I like this guy the best. Like, he doesn't seem like that bad of a guy. I'm... Like, it seems like basically he tried a bit too hard, then kind of pushed himself away from society, so to speak. Get in your Pokeball, you dragon... Dra Dragon D's nuts. Ha, got him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, sure did. There we go. Okay, let's see. Got gotcha, you, little Dino. Huh, maybe the boss did leave? I'm kind of curious what the boss is like of Team Star. Like, he seems to care about the other members of Team Star greatly, so I mean... You see, like, at least this guy does, anyways. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna view him sort of like a second-in-command, almost? So I took out their second-in-command, basically. Okay, send me my shit. Oh, also, uh, speaking of uh, Pokemon, um, the Nintendo Switch Online thing actually added a new uh, series of uh, profile images. You probably noticed when I booted the game up, actually. Or maybe not. Mm, okay, five squads. Bosses and create team chart. They call it the big boss. Okay. Who's this big boss? And are they possibly voiced by David Hayter? That's that's my important question. Yeah, Colonel. Trying to sneak around with a club my ass cheeks. Keeps alerting the guards. <laughs> Alright. How funny would it be if uh, the guy who's talking to me on the phone is actually the big boss of Team Star? And he just, he's been trying to disband it for a few years now, and because, like, no one knows what he looks like, it's kind of hard for him to disband the group, because no one's taking him seriously. It would be a big surprise if it turns out that the guy I'm talking to on the phone is the leader. <laughs> or the former leader of Team Stars. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, what's Penny bringing me? They seem really scared of my Pokemans. <laughs> oh, that is both cute and funny. Okay, he, he had enough given her kisses. Uh.
I guess the other big surprise would be uh, the other plot twist would be if Penny turned out to be the uh, the big boss character. That would be the other big plot twist if that turned out to be the case. I would not be surprised if that turned out to be the case. Especially about the fact they're like so eager to tell me like, oh yeah, don't lose to these guys. It's like, it's like, oh yeah, the big boss is just Penny, but with a fancier hat. That would be, that would be friggin' funny. Oh, okay. Ah, I'm not gonna make it up there. Up, but work around. Okay, jump on top of this tent. Sleep talk. Okay, that's a move I haven't seen in a while. I mean, I guess I could be good if I had, like, rest on a Pokemon, because then I could rest, restore health, and then while the like, Pokemon's asleep, I can just use sleep talk while I'm passed out. So at least that way my sleeping Pokemon isn't, uh, you know, completely useless. But I shall also put Yawn on my Pokemon to really play into that quote-unquote sleeper build. <laughs> because haha, -ha, funny sleeper build. Ha, ah, you get it? It's a sleeper build because I make the opponents pass out. Ah! Okay, that that was that was a bad joke. It's always a good idea to run through these compounds after... Let me grab the damn dark tiara shard. Okay, I think I ran through this entire base, so... Almost got Sableye. Mmm, nice. Nice, 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 nice. I'm still trying to catch him. Guess I can do the water gym next. So I've got the water gym. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I guess I'll go for the water gym, actually. It's not very far from where I am, and I figure if this de this hideout was level 20, this gym can't be much stronger, I imagine. Probably, like, maybe 25 or something. I imagine... Plus, it looks like you're supposed to kind of do this first, and then you can do the thing right after, I imagine? Who, me? I was kind of just talking out loud. I was saying more, like, to the fact that, um, with regards to the Dark um, Team Star base, because it's so close to the water gym, I feel like you're supposed to kind of do them in that order. Okay, there we go. And then just do that. Alright. So now I just gotta do. Did uh... Oh, I think this is actually where the, the bronze are supposed to spawn, actually, right here, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, that is a Meryl over there. And... I, I swear, I will never get over how weird it is seeing, like, the textures swap out in real time. Yeah, 
Yeah, gotta love that you can just fly into town. Entering town in style. I guess I can just hit up the gym right away. Seeing as I didn't lose too much HP. Late. Um, I'm sorry, what? What is this? Yes. Sure. I want. Okay. I want to save a life. Gotta love how they're trusting a random kid with a gym leader's wallet. Okay, uh, so oh we God, so, so we're hitting up the clubs now and uh, just buying all the bo bottle service on his dime now? Is that what's going on? Ooh, cute wallet design, though. It's a Venonat. That is an adorable wallet. Okay, that's an easy enough test. I gotta return a guy's wallet that he left behind. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, I guess, hide, head into the designer clothing store. Where you can only buy shoes and backpacks and socks for some reason. Oh, I'm buying tights. Okay. That'd probably be more noticeable if I was wearing, um... Okay, backpack. That looks like a purse. I'm not gonna lie, that backpack just looks like a bloody purse. Is there any other backpack designs other than these leather ones? Yeah, yeah, all the backpacks just look at purses. I hate them all. Hmm. Then we got hats, which are berets in varying colors and shades. Oh, wait, no, they got bowler hats. Okay. Now I can be a suave, sophisticated gentleman. Kind of like the white one, but the black one just speaks to me more. Wait, do they have one in orange? I might match my... Okay, it's a bit too bright, the orange. How about the blue? The blue one might go with the the violet team uniform, but... Or the violet school uniform. Guess I'm gonna go with the black bowler hat. Sure, let's wear the bowler hat right away, yeah. Yeah, I kind of like the glasses. I just go with the first pair, yeah. Let me try this gym challenge again. That's a hair salon. Okay, do they have any new hairstyles that I can't get anywhere else? Uh, actually, no. Well, here's what I want to do, actually. Save my game. And if the hairstyles are nothing I want, here's what I'll do. I'll just reboot the game. Okay, there's a few different hairstyles that I haven't seen before. Definitely gives me more of a feminine side, that one. Kind of like that one, actually. Not a fan of the slick back look, to be fair. Hmm, actually, the ponytail one's not too bad, but still kind of gives me more of a feminine look.
Uh, I kind of like the pixie cut. It's not too messy. Oh, gotta love the space buns. Let's go with the Bob. Dash, no. Ooh, okay. There's a lot more colors that I remember. I'll stick with the Ash. Yeah, I think I'll stick with the dark brown. Okay. There we go. Magically cut my hair and I have more hair now than I had before. Gym test is, yeah. I mean, to be fair, the water. Oh, hey, yeah. Uh, what's up? Oh, uh, Mario. Um, I have something that you'll want. Um, I actually have the other two stars. I can trade you extra copies of. I can trade them to you whenever you like. Because if I go here to my box, you'll see Mario. I got Quaxley, I got Sprigatito, I got eggs for the fire starter right there. The whole gang is there. Okay, let's just, uh, I guess I should probably use the Pokemon Center while I'm here. Oh, and I just realized I should probably also grab that. Yeah, no worries. Take your time. Take your time, good sir. Oh, and I need to grab that little metal there. Do I have enough of those coins yet? Because I think I was supposed to have like a hundred of them or something. To... What the hell is it? Uh... Let's see. Do I have... Ooh, I have one of these bad boys. Use. Oh, wait, no, not use. Give to Mimikyu. Ow. What, what, what's, what's, what's the. Blah, 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 blah. What has sparked the ow? What has sparked the ouchie? Uh, I got one. I did. I got one. Uh, one shot by a oh. high jump kick. Oh, you almost got one shot. Okay. No, I got one shot. Ew. All right. That's, uh, that's not great. Okay, so here's what I want to do. Let's go box. Okay, I just got to alter my party. Really? Up. Another... Uh... I, I don't know why when you say er like that, it just made me think like... God, what the hell is the word I'm looking for? Um... <sighs> Fuck, I'm trying to think of the word, but it's like escaping me right now. Yeah, I think this is a good enough team. Okay, we got Shadow Ball. Okay, oh yeah, now I can check the map. Okay, yeah, let's see. Uh, zoom out the map. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah fuck I your meta champ. Oh, it's a good thing I flew here earlier, so I guess I can technically do the gym challenge in seconds versus the minutes that I would have inevitably taken to traverse that huge-ass desert. As soon as I get myself oriented. Okay, he's most likely at the uh, auction house here. Oh, there he is. There's our uh, 
esteemed gym leader. Where in the world is my wallet? Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item! Uh, yeah, he's trying to get that Hatsune Miku uh, life-sized uh, action figure with uh, three levels of uh, grip, if you catch my meaning. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> you almost sound like Mr. Satan. Mr. Satan? <laughs> <laughs> It's the motherfucking champ, Hercule! Yeah! Yeah! Hercule! <laughs> honestly, as much as people dislike Hercule or shit on him, honestly, here's the thing. Unlike every single character in the entire series of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, he is technically the only non Saiyan character. To have never died once. Ah, oh, fuck, I made it. Or. Past the gym yeah, test. actually, yeah, 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 yeah. He's the only non Saiyan character to have not died once. Because I also forgot that Bulla was born after that arc, so technically oh. she didn't die, so yeah. He is the only non-Saiyan character to have never died. Yeah, fuck that gym test. One could argue technically Majin Buu died. Because you could argue absorption is like death. For all intents and purposes. As Fat Buu was absorbed. So I, I will treat absorption like death. But either way, uh, I'm assuming that's Mario that just joined. Oh. Mario's doggo. Bork, bork. <laughs> okay, let me just finish this gym challenge and I can trade you both of the other two stars you're missing. So you'll have all three. Take a time. Yeah, I just gotta return this guy his wallet. Yeah, yeah. Do what you gonna do. Oh, wow. Super important! Then I guess a battle will shut your mouth. Wow, okay, you D-bag. I'm gonna murder him in cold blood. Oh, with plenty of witnesses! They'll see how great I am at murdering people. I'm really good at murdering the <laughs> hill. Doors, yuck. A little biking soda washes the blood away! <laughs> That's right, Mickey. A shook. I'm a proud sponsor of OxyClean! <laughs> Today's proud sponsor! <laughs> I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> no. With OxyClean, Mick, you can clean away all the blood stains from my crime scenes. Leave no evidence. No witnesses. <laughs> yuck. What the yuck? <laughs> I'll yuck and do it again. Okay, let's go seed bomb on his ass. I will say this water gym is uh, definitely a walk in the park. I am over leveled for this gym. I, I probably should have done this gym earlier. Instead of trying to go for the Psychic Gym first. The Water Gym is proving to be easy by comparison. You forgot this. I got ten badges? <laughs> okay, cool. Um... Ok, 
Okay, I just gotta wait for him to buy his herb, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, her, her, uh, dress claps. Wait. Okay, cool. Um, oh, I gotta do an auction, okay. So, I'm, I'm basically trying out the auction mechanic. Okay, gym test. Make the winning bid on an auction. So, I'm bidding on this seaweed, and I was given 50,000. Okay. Hoenn's legendary wakame seaweed will start the bidding at 10,000. He gave me 50,000, so that's not bad. I'll, uh, I'll start the bid. 10k. 15k. 25k. Uh, let's bid 35. Let's jump it. Okay, I got it for 35k. That's still less than what he gave me. Is he gonna let me keep the change? Oh, cool. He gave me 50k. I only spent 35k out of that 50 that he gave me, which means I get to keep 15k. That's not bad. That is, like, the best money I've made. No, it's bloody not. No, honestly, 15k for, like, basically nothing is actually really good money. Because he gave me 50k to basically buy his stuff for the auction. Okay, anyways, I can set up the trade now if you want. Uh, sure. I'm gonna get... Let me just put on a... Let me just... T let me just turn it online. Okay, yeah. No worries. I'm gonna... I'm gonna see if I can try out the auction house, I guess, in the meantime. Don't. No. Let's see. Oh, Razor Claw. I need one of these, actually. Uh, bidding starts at 5 seconds. Okay, okay, sure. I'll start this. I need the Razor Claw. Because I actually need this for my Pokemon to evolve. Uh, 5k, let's go. I'll pass for now. Highest bid is 7k. Let's go 8k. What's that? Holy crap, that little child is like... Let's Fuck go... Garvin. Garvin. 10k, 500. Guard Gar Gar Fuck it. 12k, 500. As long as I spend less than 15k, I'm essentially getting this item for free. God damn, I want to bid... Get rid of that kid! She's a little monster! Okay, that kid didn't have anything more than 15k. Let's go 16k. Oh god, is this guy... 17k. Okay, there we go. Got the quick claw. Uh, I spent more than I would have liked. Okay, this guy's selling Pokeballs? That's a ripoff. Swift Feather. A Rotom Catalog. Uh, yes, please. I want a Rotom Catalog. Because the Rotom catalog lets you change Rotom's uh, form. Because I'd love to make my Rotom into a dishwasher form. Okay, I'll pass for now. See how much people decide to raise this. Trust me, dish dishwasher form. Or washing machine form. Basically turns Rotom into a water electric type. Okay. Pass for now. Wow, okay, the kid's still in on this. Okay, um... Let's try to push this kid out with 5,000. <laughs> wow! Yeah, I'm trying to kick the kid out of the auction. 
it's funny because the, the adult bowed out quicker than the kid did. Okay, are you ready to do the trade now? Yeah. Okay, the... Yeah, okay, no rush, no rush, no rush. As I said. Okay. Alright, alright. We can do that trade. Okay, the uh, the trade code is 69, 69, 69, 89 as the last two digits. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Although if you prefer, I can do something a little shorter. We can do a four-digit code instead. 69, no. 89. No, we're, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, Stop turning no, away. Good. Sorry, what? What's going on with your reaction there, Mario? And I'm like good. That. Never right. mind. Okay, 69, 69, 69, 89. Begin search. <laughs> All right, I set up my uh, trade, my link trade, with my massively, yeah, link trade for sixty nine, sixty nine, sixty nine, eighty nine. Okay, found a partner. I'm gonna assume this is you. Duh. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, cool. Let me just switch it to box seven. Okay, you said you needed uh, Quaxley. Okay. Um. Okay, let's uh, see. I'm looking at the stats to see which one you might want. This uh, gym sucks. Okay, you'll probably this want this sucks. one for physical, because uh, Quaxley, when it fully evolves, becomes a fighting type. So you'll want this physical attack version. Alright. And in return, I'll trade you this little guy. Oh, actually, I don't have any of those. So yeah, sure, I'll take that. Yeah, the thing is, these two have the name. But, alright. This gym sucks. I can find one. I only but, have one, wait, but which, I can find uh, which gym sucks? Oh, I, I guess I'm waiting on you to press a button. Uh, psychic gym? I uh, I'm think, waiting for you. No, it says here, waiting on the other person's decision. Apparently you have to oh. press another button. Oh. Darn it. Sorry! Yeah, no worries, no worries. It happens. And of We've all made the mistake, mistake from time to time. You're oh, terrible. by the way, Omega. I did get me a uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day viral figure from Fangamer. Ah, nice, nice. Okay, um, after this, I'm going to trade you the Sprigatito as well. Fuck this gym, fuck this gym. Yeah, the Psychic uh, Gym's a pain in the ass. You might have an easier time with the Water Gym. Because it seems like the Water Gym is like 25, so honestly, you might have an easier time if you try to go for the Water Gym. What's the Psychic one? Level 42. Oh, oh, yipes. Well, I mean, I could easily do the Psychic Gym now. My, my my strongest Pokemon is level 46. I thought you finished the Psychic Gym. Uh, well, yeah, see. I did it a while ago. Okay, uh, let's go with... Uh, okay, because this is a primarily a physical attacker. Uh, uh, let's... Uh, let's see. Oh! You know, here, we'll, uh, we'll trade you this level 15 Sprigatito. All you have to do is just level it right. up, like, once, and it'll evolve, basically. It was in my party while uh, I was doing some grinding, and it got a few levels. I had to actually cancel the evolution. Oh, uh, do you want a Dolphin? Um, Don Thun. Yeah, sure, I know, I, know what you're, I know what you're talking about. It's the one that looks like a Dolphin. Oh, no, it's not, okay. Not dolphin. Oh! Don fan. Okay. Don fan. Don okay. Fan. Okay. Don fan. Okay. Well, I still need it, so I'll take it anyways. Yeah, I only got one. I can find another one anyway. There's yeah, a yeah, school yeah. of ma Manfies. There's yeah, a school yeah, of yeah. Manfies. Well, I still need to catch its pre evolved form, but I've seen the pre evolved form in my game, so I know I can catch it. I have it. Yeah, I just need it for Pokedex data, the pre evolved form, really. Just gotta wait for I'll it, give it to. Uh, sure, I guess. I mean, I could temporarily do a trade, I guess. Fanfy? Anyways, here you go. And one Sprigatito. Yep. One Weed Cat coming up. Oh, <laughs> Weed Cat! Oh, also, I did a little digging, uh, Mario, how the breeding works. Uh, I figured it out. 
it is done at the picnic. Okay. Uh, basically, what you would do is uh -huh. you would want to have the Pokemon you want to breed together in your party and only them. If you're doing uh -huh. it in co-op, you could actually breed with a friend's Pokemon, technically. So you would restrict yourself to just one Pokemon that you want to have breed with you, your friend's Pokemon. Ah, of course. And oh, then hey, uh... Uh, the little basket at the end of the of the table, that's where the eggs spawn. Yeah. So what you would do is you would just okay. run around, run circles around your picnic basket, and then, uh -huh. or your your table basically, and then eventually an okay. egg will spawn. Oh, uh, here, you know, I'll trade you this cleft key. Cleft key. You know the thing that's like literally a fairy steel type that looks like a key ring, basically. Oh, the goddamn it! <laughs> Not that Pokemon. Well, don't you need it for the data? Yeah. Uh, I have one of these Pokemon. Hold on a second. What about this ostrich Uh, what, what's up? Oops. Uh, you know what? I don't think I have one. I don't really... Uh, okay. what am I trying to guess here? It's an ostrich. Of course. And here I thought you were going to tell me something about wanting to steal the Declaration of Independence. Hello. So yeah, this one is a... This one is a psychic type. This one is a psychic yeah, yeah, type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it before. But I've just never caught it. The damn thing. Yeah. Uh, the damn thing kept break. Or actually, no. I think I might have caught this before. I'm not 100 percent sure. It's bouncing around. Or you know what? No, no. That's right. No, I, I tried to catch it and I accidentally killed it. That was it. I tried to catch it. Wait, does this thing evolve? I don't think so. Uh, it might, because there's two spots next to it open. Well, I'll find out if it does or not. Oh, um, wait a second. What's up? Oh, oh wait, Manaphy. Wait a second. Um, oh, you don't have Manaphy. Yeah, I don't. That's why I was... I, I only need it for the oh, data, wait. though. I only need it for the data. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, do you need a Mimikyu, by any chance? Mimikyu. Mimikyu is um, like the fairy ghost type that looks like Pikachu almost. Um, or, or like a cheap costume, I guess, of it. Uh, sure. sure how, did send you, it to me. how did you get Manphy? I caught it a long time ago. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it has. I can't find it. I, I could have. I can't remember what I got it, but yeah. Oh, you find it in the desert area. Yeah. Like, there's a big desert area on the left hand side of the map. Um, that's where it spawns, so you would just kind of look there and be like, Ah, yes, there's Fenfi. It's near where the giant, oh, um, Fenfi. Yeah, it's where the Titan quest is for... And why, why did you say Manaphy? I heard Fenfi. Maybe a typo? A proverbial uh, typo? Or a mis... Maybe you just misheard. I'm pretty sure I heard Mario say Fenfi. I... <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Everybody has their little dirt moments here and there. Claw, I just wish you to just <laughs> don't ask. Oh wait, wait, wait. Um, oh, do you need? Uh, you were saying you needed Flapple before the, the Pokemon that evolves from the Apple Pokemon. What? Do you still need Flapple? Flapple. The um... it's a grass dragon. Sort of looks like an apple that's like been broken open with a little worm inside. Uh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. I'll, I'll grab that. And you can have, you can if you get this one. Oh, cool. Yes, please. I would not, I would not mind having a dolphin, basically. I want to need to get around yeah, to getting uh, another one of those little apple dragon thingies again. Oh, well, I still have the apple. Well, um, technically you could just get the other evolution yourself. Uh, that one was made with, uh, that one was, oh, sorry. Uh, that one was made with a tart apple, if I remember correctly, so you're... Tart apple. Yeah, you're gonna want the sweet apple, I believe, is what you're gonna use to evolve it to get the other evolution. Yeah, 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 I'll get, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, after this. Yeah, yeah, I figured I'd just tell you which apple I used. Plus, I caught it with a luxury ball, so it's gonna look fancy as F. Fancy. Fancy schmancy. Fancy. Oh yeah. Oh, also the auction house is where you get the uh, the Hoenn balls. You know the ones that are like made from the apricots. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yep, you can get the apricot balls from the auction house. I looked it up online. Because people were telling me that I can get the uh, the apricot balls in this game. Right. Okay, I'm going to click this first. Uh, yeah, sure. Unless you need a slow poke, that's the only Pokemon I can possibly think about offering you. Uh, just, error. Uh, just later on, just later on. Yeah, yeah sure. I'll grab it later on. Yeah, no worries. Let's bail out like we're, um, crypto bros, I guess. Uh, crypto bros. Uh, uh, it's a joke, because yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. crypto yeah. bros lately have been bailing on some, like, uh, sketchy things. I actually know a guy who recently sold all his uh, crypto because he's noticed uh, or he he's, has a funny feeling that uh, there's going to be a crash soon. Crash? Crash of what? A crash in the crypto market. Oh... I, I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. I've never really bothered myself with that sort of stuff. I mean, it's fascinating to me, but I really have no interest in buying it, any of it. Like, I have no... I have no clue. All right, was it again? Sweet Apple or Tart, tart uh, Apple? Sweet Apple. Tart Apple gets you the, the, the one that I just traded you. Uh, Sweet Apple gets you the yeah, fat yeah. one. Think of it like this. Wow. Tart makes you skinny. Sweet makes you fat. Okay. That's uh, how. That's the easiest way to describe the evolutions. Uh, sure. Well, because the the sweet one literally turns into a giant apple pie. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the literal definition of a fat dragon. How do I? Wait. How do I? Use them. Uh, you have to have the Pokemon in your party to use the apple on it. Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna go to the... Oh, there's a den! Oh, you stupid bird! Well, I see a bunch of sand castles over here. Got sandy ghasts. Sand castles. Yeah, sandy ghasts. No, Jigglypuff, I don't want you. Nick off. Oh, come on. Jigglypuff wants you, though. How do I grab a shotgun at it? <laughs> oh, God. You really hate Jigglypuff. What did Jigglypuff do to you? L let, me, let me take a wild guess. It, uh... It, it killed your parents, ate your dog, and, um... Cheated, Sudo. cheated on your on your wife oh, with uh, with. Jesus Christ, Sudowoodos is just run. Or no, no, it had a, a, a set. What, what the? Oh, that, set, uh... oh, I just caught. I caught a mush. Oh, I got a fungus. Wait, did I just find a shiny? What? Oh no, it's not a shiny. It's just a different form of a Pokemon I already caught before. What is yellow? Uh, uh... Yeah, because the one I caught was red. This one's yellow. It's not shiny. What is? I guess. So what the what the hell is it? It it looks like a it looks like sushi basically. It, I think it's like a dragon. Uh, let's see. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, I got plenty of quick balls. Snatch uh, it. I'm gonna go with a great ball, I guess. Oh, no, it broke free. Oh, it, it came up with a nasty plot. But first it has to think a lot. Let's go with Aerial Ace. Oh, oh it's hit me with a memento. I need to grab I need, I need it. I just want to catch this thing just so I can... Oh, oh, did it just kill itself because of fucking recoil? God damn it. Don't you hate it when that happens? Yeah. Like that one curse thing that before? Okay, let's see. I got Play Rough. 
uh, 90 fairy with 90... Yeah, it is exactly like that. Uh, the user attacks while playing rough with the target. This also lowers the target's attack stats. Okay, cool. Um, I guess I can get rid of... Hmm. Okay, that attack never misses. Huh. Okay, I'm kind of oh, trying to... The... I'm debating if I should get rid of Seed Bomb um... or Flower Trick. Uh, uh, oh my god, look at my screen, and I see a pig getting stuck. Welp, um, on the zips pants. Um, hmm? let's see. Oh no, step. Is... Oh no, st oh no, step, brother, I'm stuck. What? <laughs> it's spawning inside the branches. It can't get out. The poor bacon. Uh, That's you know, I guess much I... about it. Uh, I'm, uh, having, I'm having a tough time actually deciding what move I want to get rid of. Uh, you know, I guess Night Slash would be a good move to get rid of, but Seed Bomb. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna get rid of Night Slash, like it's suggesting. Yeah. Because I never use the Night Slash. I'll probably just teach it another dark move later on that, that'll that make up for that. Oh, that's a gold duck over there. Oh, there's a Gyarados over there. Oh, well. I mean, at least the yellow one is just a form change, so I technically don't really need to catch the form to get the data for it, as long as I've caught the main form, I guess, technically. Why is my croc sitting in midair? I will say, I'm disappointed. I actually genuinely thought it was going to be a shiny for a second. And it just turns out to be like a slight variant. And it's like, oh, that's not as rare or impressive. I still haven't caught in a shiny yet. Look at you guys in the shinies anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, the timing with the jump scare. Wow. Um, <laughs> the flamingo pops up. Jump scare goes off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is funny. Oh, that is genuinely funny. funny. Alright, I'm gonna do this then. I wanna get some experience. Okay, and then use a repeat ball on this little guy. Ooh! Grass type. I mean, I guess. Although I'm kind of thinking more like a dancer. Is what Flamingo. Or not Flamingo, but um, my Pokemon there. Uh, Quasquavel, looks like. Okay. You, you little burger. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Flamethrower! Oh! This thing. Isn't this what the, the electric gym leader was using as her Pokemon? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, like, I wasn't expecting her her Pokemon to essentially be here. Probably got rid of it. Ooh, um, okay, um, hmm, I'm not gonna be able to catch this thing. It's way too high level. It's 55. So I'm going to run away like a bitch. But don't mind me. I'm just gonna... The Pokemon says, Okay. <laughs> you can be a coward! And up. Whoa. Well, um... 
Uh, I think you found one of those. Yeah, although for some reason I slipped off the hill during the animation, <laughs> and then I respawned on top of the hill on top of the stake. Yeah. Huh. Okay, Scrape, we're... That was slightly confusing, but, I mean, at least I grabbed it, so... Get... Oh, so the water. Uh, so, I can't complain. I at least still grabbed it. Damn it. Hmm. Oh, shit. Uh, hopefully this thing isn't too high of a level. Yeah, probably still best to run. I'm not going to be able to beat this thing right now, even with my current health amount. So let's just uh, fast travel back to town. I need some XP candies. You should just stay in the ball, you stupid... Hmm? Okay, so I guess... Uh... Hmm, well, I mean, easy way to get some XP candies is raid dens. You could probably just pull up the thing and look up and see what raid dens are currently active. Through the uh, Poke Portal. Got mm -hmm. it! Got I, think, I think the Eevee uh, event should still be going on for like another hour or two, so you still have to get some more Eevees if you want to get some. Hey, uh, want to restart in? I'm good for now. I'm going to do the, the gym challenge. Oh. Hello? Yosh. Oh, you guys are back. You're back. Mm -hmm. I've been here all the time. Hmm? Wait, how did I... Oops, I accidentally clicked into here. Uh, yes. I'm assuming you meant to join a different voice channel. No worries. Yes. Alright, well... I'll catch you later, then. <laughs> She's gone. She was awkwardly silent and then disappears. No, no, it happens. They awkwardly join the wrong channel. E. It's not the end of the world. I I've done it before. I meant to join, like, one voice channel, then wind up joining another one completely. Whee! Elevator! Whoa! What the heck is that Pokemon? Um, oh, it's my it. dad. He finally came back with the milk. He's too powerful. <laughs> ah! You, you, that guy who is currently available as a profile picture on the Switch. Yes. How goes your Damn treasure it. hunt? Figured out what you're hunting for yet? I have no idea. <sighs> Ah, I get it. That's a version. What the heck did I hit? Oh, great. Me out you son of a... You little... Hmm, okay, great. let's see. To make sure you know your homeroom teacher's got your back. Oh, cool, lucky egg. An item to be held by a Pokemon... It's an egg filled with happiness that earns the holder extra XP points. Ooh. That would have been nice to have earlier. Maybe I'll have a Pokemon that hatches from an egg hold that. Fly. Fly. Fly, but the Fly like a butterfly, stay oh. like a bee. Fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee drill. Um, get mucked on. Okay, so because this is a water gym, I definitely don't want to have any fire Pokemon with me, so that's just asking for a bad time. 
in general. Use a diaper to use fire type. I mean, that's not the worst I've heard of. I guess. <laughs> hmm. What do you think? Should I use a Luxio or a Pikachu for my electric type? Uh, chemistry. Uh, yeah, I know how to pronounce chemistry. Um, well, let's see. What's good with... Yeah, let's go with Pikachu. Yeah. Uh, what's good with fire type? What's worse for fire type? Ground and water. Ground and water. Oh, boy. Uh... Hmm. Uh, not off the top of my head. I mean, we're, English language is bloody confusing sometimes, to be fair. I mean, like, even I'm confused by it, and it's my bloody native language. I should know this crap. But I don't. Oh, wait, no, um, actually, let's put, uh, Rotom in the party, actually. Yes, put Rotom. Hmm. Yep, I think I figured that's a good enough party for this gym. Oh, you put something in the images? Okay, let's see what the hell you put there. Picture of the chum bucket from SpongeBob? Chum bucket? Ah, get, 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 get. Why do you bring out the chum bucket then? Uh, if you look in images, there was a picture of the chum bucket that was put there. I don't get it. You are gay. Why are you. No, I am not. I'm not gay. Let's be real here. Why are you walking? Okay, I, I see someone caught a muck and spelled it backwards. Oh uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, I should probably... Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna definitely have to use some items on these bad boys, so let's go... Boop. Large candy. Let's level up... Uh, Pikachu. There. Wants to learn Thunderbolt? Okay, of course, of course, of course. I mean, I guess I know the rest. Probably. Okay, 90 with 100% accuracy. Uh, yeah, I guess we can get rid of Discharge. It's not much. Yep. Pikachu wants to learn Light Screen? Oh, Hard pass on that move. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, substitute pass, and then Jolteon. Pin missile. Okay, that's an interesting move to learn. Pin Missile, Bug, 25, has a chance to hit five times in a row. Okay. Huh. Yeah, let's get rid of Thundershock. Why the hell not? We'll keep Pin Missile, though, because that's interesting. I didn't know Jolteon could learn Pin Missile, of all moves. Yeah, that's... Good enough, I think. Level 39 should be more than powerful enough. Oh no. I'm aware it's the water gem, but I just want to have the move for later. Plus, dual typing is a thing, so I mean, it could wind up like a water psychic or water dark or water grass or some crap like that. It's 
why I'm not teaching any of my Pokemon like stuff like fire moves. Although ice could be useful though. Yeah, let's teach it Electro Ball. Why the hell not? Okay, 60, 101. Okay, yep, definitely. Okay, come on. Yeah, let's get rid of, uh, let's get rid of Double Kick. We'll teach it Electro Ball. Come on. Oh! I did not know that. Well, to be fair, though, I have badges that um, allow me to go to level 40 or higher. Because I got enough badges. It's just I kind of did the gyms out of order. So, I mean, I might as well just take advantage of the fact that I can go higher than what the gym actually is. Eh, well, I'll be fine. Huh? Yes, I would like to very much battle the guy. Oh, I guess oh, after... I a three -star. Oh, three-star den or three-star something else? Three-star den. Oh, what did you wind up getting? Um, a Pellybird. Um. Oh, okay, okay. That's not that great of a Pokemon, but I mean, it's good. Why the hell? Oh, there's a sandstorm going on. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> wow, okay. Everyone likes the gym leader in this town. Indeed. Oh, I just realized his beard is like it reminds me of like that one really popular Japanese painting of like the ocean wave. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't even notice that at first. His beard reminds me of like an ocean wave like painting. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. All right, time to kick his ass. All right, time to pulverize his ass into a fine gooey paste. Into smithereens. Well, I'm smithereens are a bit too much. I prefer paste. Okay, that's a, um, a steel water type, I think? Oh, well, crying out loud. Okay, okay, that's, uh... Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I was right to have Pin Missile done. A Weevil! Just need some... Let's go Electro Ball. Probably should have... Oh, it's Water Psychic. Okay, that explains why the bug moves worked as well as they did. Wug Tree? Really? Oh, it's Wiglet, but as a Doug Trio, basically. Okay. Uh, let's go... Uh, let's go Electro Ball again on it. Man. Because my speed stat is superior, I am going to immediately do more damage. Yeah, I have a work trio. Uh, let's just keep going with Jolteon. <laughs> oh, this thing. 
Okay, uh, let's go Vault Switch, I guess. Oh, that's right. I, I keep forgetting. The final Pokemon's always a tiara form. So when I use Vault Switch, I'm going to be hitting it with an electric type move. Well, it's a water type. Oh, well. I guess I gotta be prepared to one shot this thing immediately. Once my turn starts. Oh, no. I didn't see that coming, said no one ever. Wants to learn Discharge. 80 with 100% accuracy with a chance to... Thing. Okay. Um. I mean, I have a pretty good speed, so... Probably better off just getting rid of Volt Switch. Yeah, let's get rid of Volt Switch. I'll... I can always relearn it. Because I got the TM for it. I don't know if there's a move tutor in this game or not. I want to say right now, this is... It's at least nice that I, I like struggled the last few gyms only to like breeze through this gym. Because I was so overleveled for this gym because I was underleveled for the other gyms. <laughs> all, it's easy, all it's easier to me, I use lightning. Lightning Pokemon. <laughs> I already beat the gym. Oh, you already beat the water gym? Yep. With lightning! Yeah, I mean, if you hadn't, I mean, you could have easily gone through. Yep. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's not the greatest. I mean, it's fine. But I also kind of want to have a bit of move diversity to Jolteon. But yeah, I get your point. Probably would have been better to get rid of the Pin Missile, maybe. Uh, dig, though, uh, Dig I still view as a useful move, even if you're not necessarily using it for offense. It can be used as an evasive move, too. Like, if you have a teammate who uses Surf a lot or um, Lava Plume. You can use Dig to kind of avoid the attack while your teammate does it, so it's great in double battles. I don't see any double battles, battles in here. That's a problem. Oh, that is a cute little picture. Yeah, I know Earthquake just hits everything regardless. Oh, I can now catch level, catch and train level 50 Pokemon. There we go. Chilling water. I guess that's a water attack that has a chance to freeze. Did not know that. I'll keep that in mind. So, although generally speaking, most Pokemon don't use Dig again or Earthquake against me. At least not in the thing. I, I know like players will use Earthquake like crazy, but unless I'm fighting against a player, I'm not really too worried about a potential Earthquake as the NPCs generally tend to not use it as much. Yep, yeah, you're watching me from the sidelines. Okay, so... All I need to do now is collect... Collect some Pokemon from the dens. Alright. I need more candy. I mean, fair enough. I mean, to be fair, I'm not really going to be the, the one to do that. Unless I know it's safe. Like, I might try to attack it with some other moves first, just to make sure I can safely dig. Wait, the dumb thing has a lightning rod. This one's a water type? It's a lightning! You don't want to do this, Dan. Well, I mean, there are electric water types, aren't there? So, I mean, it's not unheard of. That type combo. Oh. 
Wait, what's going on now? I wanted to... Oh, okay, apparently I triggered the elevator. I wanted to jump off the thing. Game, let me hurl myself to my death. I'm allowed to. Ah. That's, uh, interesting. Oh. She wants a whooper. I think I have a whooper already. And if I remember correctly, if you want to breed a, uh, a foreign variant of a Pokemon and keep it... Okay, so it's Wooper, so I gotta go W. Wooper? Yeah, I was interrupted. Ah, there's my Paldean Wooper. And now I'm going to get the, I guess, the non-special variant Wooper. And as I was saying, um, apparently to if you wanted to keep the Wooper as a regular variant in this case, you would equip an Everstone to it when you wanted to breed it. That way when the offspring is born, it'll be a regular Wooper, not a uh, Paldean Wooper. I don't know. All I can say about Paldean Wooper is Paldean Wooper is basically just the Wooper that wandered into Hot Topic and came back out as an edgy emo boy. Uh, which Pokemon do they... Oh, okay. She's asking me to look at all my Pokemon. Okay. Ah. Let's go with this one. Hmm. Oh yeah, I know that Gimme Ghoul, uh, to make it evolve, you have to collect a bunch of the Gimme Ghoul coins that are randomly scattered around the map. I think you have to like, get like, what was it, like 99 or 100 of them? I forget exactly. All I know is you have to collect a crap ton of coins to evolve the damn thing. Yeah, I might need help with this, Den. Oh, uh, okay, give me a second. I'm just collecting some items. You're already set up online, so I guess just uh, give me the Den code, I guess? Run. Run from the Den. Can you run from dens? Yes. I did not know that. Yeah, I'm just gonna heal at the Pokemon Center real quick. I just... Holy crap, okay, I didn't realize you had to get that many. I thought it was like 100 or 99 or some crap. Not 999. Hot diggity damn. He said without a hint of sarcasm. I have no idea what the hell the thing looks like, and I don't want to find out and... The link code is M-T-Y-T-T-J. Uh, give me a second, let me get into the thing real quick. I was just in the Pokemon uh -oh. Center, healing. Okay, so, uh -oh. Terror Raid. I'm gonna punch in the, the code in a second. Un momento, por favor. Okay, you were saying the room code was... M T Y. T T J M Y T no, M T M T Y M T Y T T J T T J Oh wait, what the okay Oh never mind okay it did type it in both okay cool uh, Hold on Okay and so that's, that's a what Oh uh, uh, I guess I can just stick with what I got Jolteon it, will be perfect it, it, it has light it has lightning rod by the way Okay, then. Did not know that. Okay, um, probably better off going with a grass starter, then. Mouse Karata. Did not know about grass Pokemon. Yeah, grass are strong against water types. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Don't do, don't do start. 
Yeah, so the water starter will be perfect for this. Now Skirata. Uh, ooh, Gogo era is actually grass Pokemon. Yeah, as long as you're not using ground or fire, you should be fine. As you said that, I still have a fire type. <laughs> well, I mean, you can change out your Pokemon. You still have an opportunity to switch it out for something, you know, a little more effective. Apparently, this thing has Lightning Rod, according to what uh, Claw just said. So yeah, because I, I used I used an Electric move, and it used Lightning Rod. Yeah, well, Lightning Rod's a right. passive ability, so it just absorbs all electricity and cancels it out. Hmm. So it's immune to electrical attacks. So you're going to want to go with a Grass Pokemon for this one. And 50 seconds left. Not to worry. Oh, that okay. works. It only has three moves. Hey, better than nothing. Uh, grass. Hey, it's Grass move. Hey, I mean, like, hey, as long as it does the, hey, as long as it does decent enough damage, right? True. If not, well, I mean, we can probably fall back on the other Pokemon, right? I'm stomped. I don't know. Ooh, yeah, that that. That is deadly. Let's see. Seed bomb. Seed bomb as well. Oh, and it's using uh -oh. curse. Well, curse doesn't do much on regular Pokemon. It's more effective as a ghost because it cuts your health in half. Okay, let's go flower trick. Yeah, Flower Trick has a high chance of a uh, crit. Okay. That's it. I have no idea what the hell happened there. Ow. I'm dead. Oh, doesn't really matter. It's dead now. I avenged you. And uh, apparently Samantha? Uh, oh, actually, uh, I needed one of these for a trade, conveniently, in uh, the Electric City, so... Can I catch this one? Oh, Flower Trick always yeah, crits. Oh. Okay, then I definitely should be uh, keeping that, then. I didn't know it always crit. I really should pay attention to, like... Okay, well, I know there was an NPC in uh, the city that wanted this thing. And she said she'd trade a, uh, what was it, a Haunter for it, I think? Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess I don't, although I don't really need the Haunter, though, so, I mean, I probably won't even bother trading her. Because all she's going to do is trade me a Haunter that's just going to immediately evolve into a Gengar. I already got the Pokedex entry for Gengar. So an Eevee. I guess I can oh. probably beat this guy. Oh wow! I've got 20 years of studies at the academy under my belt. Oh, oh god! I, I don't know. I'm a little concerned that you failed 20 years worth of school to challenge a fucking 12 year old to a Pokemon battle. I'm a little concerned that a what looks to be 30-year-old man is battling me. Just saying, a little concerned.
A little concerned that the 30 year old man is still going to this school. Oh. I guess I'll just use Dig. I don't want to sing that song, but I don't want to get you DMC aid. What song? You know, from the Lion King? No. Uh. I don't, I don't know which one you're referring to. There's a million of them. You know, dig a tunnel. Wait, is that from the Lion King? Yeah. Oh, right, because it's like dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel, dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel, dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel, quick before the hyenas yeah. come. So you want to DMC it yourself? I don't, I don't really know. Like, Disney is usually pretty lax. It's usually like... It's usually like the big record labels that you want to watch out for. As they're the ones that kind of tend to go DMCA happy. So like, oh, thunder. So the company that, like, say, for example, would have, like, the uh, control over Justin Bieber's record contract, for example, would be ones to watch out. So you wouldn't want to, say, go around singing Justin Bieber songs. I think would be a good example. Although, here's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm just using a sample. What is this bird not sticking oh. at all? Oh, that's right. Isn't there like um, Ed Sheeran or some crap like that? Hmm. Well, I mean, I, I guess I'll just mute my desktop audio so I can still hear it myself. Oh, well, I've got, like, uh, I got royalty fee music I can play over top of it if I have to. Uh, well, this is a one star. I'll just challenge it on my own. I have no idea what Pokemon this is. Oh, crap. I probably should have chose a different Pokemon now that I think about it. Oh, well. Oh, I was actually just joking. I, I heard that Ed, Sh Ed Sheeran supposedly was involved with some of the music for this game. Although, to be fair, though, uh, so was, um... Toby Fox of um, Undertale slash Deltarune oh, fame. Ah, oh, well, it's a one star den, so I'm not really too worried about failing this thing. Oh, I finally caught the bird. Bird. The what? What's oh, cool. At least the pen, pin missile uh, did the job. Oh. Alright. Oh, okay. So, so when the credits pop up, I just need to mute that? Okay, well, thank you. That's actually helpful all the same. Yeah, I think he did, like, the, the gym battle OST, if I'm not mistaken. As well as a couple of the trainer themes. Don't know specifically which ones, but... I don't know. Toby Fox is a talented individual, honestly. Like, good game designer and uh, good music composer as well. Like, I still say his um, his best work is still with the Undertale slash Delta. Okay, I gotta I gotta get I gotta get this thing. All right. Oh, it's a vault form. It has hammer, tinker tough. Okay, do I have a quick ball? Let's go for quick ball. And I know its hammer can get even bigger. That's not even its final hammer. Oh no, I'm confused. It kissed me and I got all weird feeling. It's got a tingly feeling and it's no no place. <laughs> I think it's the first time uh, my Jolteon's been kissed by a girl. Uh, you know, okay, I got a better um, hit with a pin missile at this rate. <laughs> What's up? Okay, that, that was bad. Damage yeah, I found, a, I found a chancy that has a 
it has uh, electric powers. Uh, I'm good Maybe for chance. The I will pass on that. But uh, thanks for the heads up on that, I guess. It's a three star. Okay, let's. Oh! Can't see. Okay, I'm taking Jolteon on my party. Let's bring my main. Let's bring my main boy back. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna bring in. Uh, let's get rid of Pikachu, actually. Uh, actually, let's keep Rotom in the party for now, actually. Uh, I don't really need Cyclozar in there for now. Gardevoir is staying, though. Or, hmm. Do I really need two fairies? I guess I can get rid of Mimikyu, actually, for now. There we go. Huh. Oh, God. That would be terrifying. <laughs> basically, uh, they're they're saying, like, a uh, terrifying concept, basically. It's like, uh, for the multi-hit moves, if you're confused, and then, like, you basically have to do a confusion check every one of the attacks in that uh, thing if you hit multiple times. So, like, if you go for, like, a five-hit move... That would be terrifying if you're confused and you have to do a confusion check for each one. That would be terrifying. Ugh. Alright, call the Pokemon. Okay. Okay, there's... There we go. This is that little thing. A message? What message? Oh god, that'd be terrifying. Uh, if you sent me a message, I did not see it. Uh, let's see. Scrolling... How long ago was this message sent? Stop putting me to sleep, GNC. Oh, it's, it's in chat. Oh, can I please play Persona 5 Royale? Well, I actually don't have Persona 5 Royale. Otherwise, I might consider that. I do have the regular Persona 5, though. Now, let's go with Flame Charge. I have Persona 5 on Switch, Persona 5 Royal on Switch. Um, well, I have the PS4 release of Persona 5, like the regular one, not the, uh, the Royale edition. Oh, I swear, yeah, no, yeah. no, I have Royale. What the hell am I smoking? Uh, Xbox, right. Oh, wake up, Crocodile. Damn, boy. Thank you, Crocodile. Yeah, but I'll just play on the Xbox version. I have the Xbox version already. Fair enough. Yeah, um... Well, I, I looked into the Atlas uh, stream policy for the game. Um, yeah, apparently it's just the, uh, the final, um... Like, the final dungeon I basically can't stream, to my knowledge. But I might be able to stream that? I'm not 100% sure exactly. I'll have to look into the streaming policy, because, like, you know, um, Atlas is apparently, like, very stringent on that stuff, but uh, this stuff might only apply to Japanese streamers, possibly. Because I know that some of their policies only reflect the uh, the Japanese side of uh, Twitch and YouTube and all that. Because I've actually had some uh, streams that I did for uh, Catherine, because I looked at the stream policy for that game. Uh, my Catherine streams have actually been delisted from Japan, so um, apparently if you uh, are in Japan, you can't watch my uh, VODs for Catherine. Bad face. 
No, I mean, it's only in Japan, though, and it's only for Catherine. I don't know, it's just kind of weird. Yeah, true enough. I can just record a video or something. Uh, I just figured I'd mention it, though. Okay, I'm going to have to catch one of these little bronze ores. Sushi from Japan. What? I'm sorry, I'm... <laughs> Timmy Turner! I know you have fairy gun parents! Fairy gun parents! Okay, there we go. Got bronze ore to get the Pokedex data. You don't need to do the character, Omega. Uh, maybe, maybe I can just add, like, Timmy Turner outfits in my uh, repertoire. Like, I could probably get it. The hat would be the hard part. But will I ever see it coming? Duh, should, duh. I try to, should I try to tackle the, the um, one of the star, dark base? Like, you know, the dark type? Oh, the dark type is easy peasy. Like, honestly, it's, um, because dark are weak to fairy, bug, and, uh, fighting. Huzzah. So, so wait, what's dark type? So, fairy, weakness, uh, their fairy. weakness to fairy, bug, and, uh, dark. Dark no, no, dark, no, fairy, bug, and fighting. Fairy, bug, fighting. Fairy, bug, fighting. Fairy, bug, and fighting. Yes, fairy bug fighting. So if you have any Pokemon with those, uh, granted they have to be the type, not the the moves, because of how the battles work in those things. Although if you need some extra fighting Pokemon, I can help. I mean, I guess I could. I, I think I actually have a hat model, but the the hat I have is um. It's a blue hat that says, please be patient, I have autism. Yes, I actually have that hat as a prefab. Let's see, fighting. If, uh, okay, um... Oh, just give me a moment. I'm trying to remember the name of that Pokemon. Oh, God. Well, the thing is, though, I what? actually do have autism, though. That, that, so it's not really a joke. It's actually serious. The hat's just more funny. The, the, the hat was just more for a meme. Uh, I guess I'm... Okay, let's go Facade, because it's not very effective. Uh, as I've said, I kind of want to keep the number to uh, minimum. The VC. Oh, yeah, fair enough. I mean, the thing is, though, uh, a lot of cases um, with uh, involving um, ADHD and, by extension, autism, um, there's a lot of instances that have happened over the years where people have been misdiagnosed with uh, ADHD, where autism. I mean, you do you, I guess. Okay, it's night out, so I guess the Dusk Ball should work? <sighs> uh, I feel bad here. Ew. Okay, well I got that little bugger down. Okay, put this... In Oh, okay. It looks like Tinker Tough um, actually evolves as well. So... 
Oh, there we go. Okay, there's uh, the bronze ore. Okay, I need to heal you up. Restore health. Yeah, I've got so many bloody regular potions. Oh, and uh, speaking of the the regular potions, there is actually a shirt design. You know, I now that I think about it, I've lost the design for it, but there's a shirt design I did years ago, which, um... It literally was just a shirt with, like, a generic character that I designed. It was very badly drawn, and it just had in bold characters the word shirt with an exclamation point at the end written on it. If I... I think I should just recreate that design. Because it was based off a design that like a friend of mine uh, did. Because they did something similar, but they did it with their OC character that they designed. Although theirs was much better designed. It was like... Uh, like a blue-haired girl or whatever. Uh, I I, I... Yeah, why is the water gym all the way behind the mountain? Yeah, it's a bit finicky. Although you can cheese your way up. There's a little trick I can tell you. Because I was mentioning before, like, okay, basically the trick is if you face your back towards the wall of a mountain that you can slide down, jump, and while you're in midair, if you push forward, your character will stay in the direction that they were facing prior to the jump as long as you don't uh, change orientation when you land. So theoretically, you could just keep jumping, moving backwards, and you'll slide down a lot less than you would if you were going forward. So you can carry a bit more momentum up the hill and essentially reach the top a lot sooner. It's a small little... I guess you could say climbing technique. Would we consider an advanced technique or a not-so-advanced technique? I'm not really sure what you'd categorize it as. Okay, let's check out the the crafting station. Oh god, I I need to back out for a second. I just noticed something. That ad, the the ad there for a second. The the silhouette of like the the trainer there on the red Pokemon ad. That was freaking. That's Gary freaking Oak. That's Gary Oak's silhouette. Or, if you're going with the red and blue naming conventions, that's Blue's silhouette. Huh. That's neat. Bringing that mother hugger back into the fold. Have you ever cl gotten the climb ability yet? I do not have the climb ability yet. <clears throat> Although climb uh, is a good ways up the hill. Um, as I said, like I'm just using like an exploit to basically get up the hills. As it's uh, fairly easy to do the exploit that I mentioned. Okay, I'm, I'm going to ignore that for now. Oh yeah, I should probably check the shop. I can probably buy Ultra Balls now, maybe. Buy... Ah, there we go. Ultras. Can I buy... Oh, and I can buy luxury balls, too. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to buy 30 Ultra Balls. Actually, let's buy another 30. Actually, let's buy 40, actually. No. 50. But I'm going to use the uh, LP cash.
There we go. That takes care of that. Hmm. Okay, let's go map. I'm trying to think, what gym should I be doing next? Okay, so I can... I guess, based off the, the gym ordering, I should probably be doing the ice gym based off proximity. Because I've already cleared the, like, the basically the bottom half of the map. I just need to do the top. Hmm. I forgot what's what's uh, what Dark Souls. I've been watching what someone that on? made their own game video series of a crossover with Phoenix Wright. And... Oh, I've actually seen that years ago. It was um, I know what series you're talking about. I'm actually familiar with it. It's a My Little Pony Phoenix Wright thing. Um, if I remember correctly, the um. The hell was that? It was, um... Oh, fuck, I'm like trying to remember here. Rainbow Dash? I I'm not too familiar with the characters from My Little Pony. You'll have to excuse if me if I get the names. I, I know the names. I'm just... Like, I'm not the hugest fan of the series. Um, my sister was a bigger... Um, I, I guess the word I'm looking for is brony? Or... No, no, the term for female bronies was, uh, Peggy Sisters, right? Peggy Sisters. Okay, well, you, you know it a lot better than I do. Shows what I know. Actually, I should probably go here first and get the, uh, the, the thing. But yeah, I've heard it's, uh, pretty good from what I've heard. Like, I I've watched a bit of... Uh, Friendship's Magic, I kind of dropped out pretty early on, as I found some elements of the show to be a bit grating, namely the episodes that featured the, um, the younger sister of um, Applejack and her friends. Is, uh, is that something or other? I forget the exact... Was it here? I'm trying to remember what town it was that had the, the NPC that I traded the medals to. Because I'm pretty sure I got enough medals now. Oh. I think it was... No, it's not here. Okay, um... It's the one that starts with a T. Oh yeah, it was someone with a T. With a T. With a T. You sure it was a T? Yeah, that's what... You said... Huh. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Uh, someone made a new one called Ace Attorney Elements of Justice. Oh, okay. Because I remember that that series was like on a semi-permanent hiatus for like the longest time. Granted, I watched it like years ago, so... Okay, you know what? Um, let me look this up real quick. Um, oh, you know what? Here, here's an easy solution. I'll just cheat a little bit here. I'll just look up the name of the town. C-H-A-R-A-D-E-T Pokemon Scarlet, how to evolve. Sure, that's... Oh, 
Huh. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, I don't need the game telling me how to do it. Okay. Okay, it's Zap. Okay, it's on the East Coast. And it's Zap something? Okay, so it starts with a Z, not a T. Okay, I was looking for a town with a T. It's with a Z. Uh, Zapico. Oh. Okay. That, uh, that helps things. Oh, 11 years? Okay, no wonder. Like, I'm vaguely remembering things. That's a long time to put a show on hiatus, basically. I'm wondering if it's the same team or if it's a whole new one. Sure, trade. Okay, I got two of them, so now go to my bag. Use the armor. There we go. Oh, it's made by different people, uh -huh. so... Okay, so it's just fans of the original, I guess. So, inspired by the originals. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I freaking love the Char Cadet. So all form. Armor Rogue. But I want to get the other armor... Plus, it becomes like a fire psychic type, which is kind of cool. Although, now I need a Sruledge, which is the um, the one I get from your game. Let's see, Psy Shock. 80 damage, 74. Ooh, okay, I got really good special attack. Okay, so... Hmm. Lava Plume is good, but at the same time is bad in team battles, because I hurt teammates with it. But Facade is not a very good... Oh, this move is doubled if the user is poisoned, burned up. Um, okay, I'll just get repair Facade. It's a bit too situational. Like, how often am I going to be paralyzed, burned, or whatever? Oh, uh, out of curiosity, do you have a Charcadot? Uh, Charcadet? Uh-huh. Charcadet. It's like that little... It's that little fire Pokemon that sort of looks like a little child almost, but like in armor. Mm, yeah, I do. Yeah, I have the armor to evolve it for my game. Because there's oh, two... okay. Yeah, because there's two armors. Uh, two armors? Yeah, one that's exclusive to Violet and one that's exclusive to uh, uh, Scarlet. I have the Scarlet exclusive uh -huh. armor. Okay. Well, I don't have the material yet. Well, if it helps any, um, you'll be able to get the items uh, by fighting uh, Sinites. You know, the little ghost... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The ghost T Yeah, Pokemon? I know, I know. Yeah, I don't spot them yet. All right, fair enough. Although I could probably trade you the Sinity chunks because apparently they I've already encountered them. So I actually should have a couple of the the fragments that you need. Um Where, Where is the guy to give okay. him his wallet, Omega? Oh, uh okay, um give me a second. Here. I'll pull up my map and I'll show you. So I pull up my map. Okay, cuz it's uh, right here. Port um, Mardia. So basically, you're going to have to go from here, which is where the water gym is, cross this desert, and go all the way over here. The fastest route is just to literally just cross straight through the desert in the middle. It's way faster. Alternatively, you could just jump right into the river and follow the stream all the way along and just swim into town because there's a, a dock 
right here on the on the um, the west side that you can swim up on shore. And then basically there's a giant warehouse building, which is right here where the market is, and that's where you need to go. Uh, hopefully that helps. They're uh, cluzzard. See. Si. Yeah, so you've got two routes you can take. You can either swim all across the river, uh, through the stream, I should say. So swim down the river into the ocean, and then swim around and head south once you reach the end, once you're in the ocean. Swim south, and you'll reach the beach here, and you can just run the rest of the way into town. All right, here it goes. Or you can cross through the desert, start. which is a much shorter route, but you you will encounter a lot more hostile targets on the way. But there is a checkpoint that you can get to called the the Desert Watchtower, which will be kind of at a, a tipped over, like at an angle. So you could use the Desert Watchtower to kind of ease your way across, so to speak. Ooh, actually, that's a good idea, actually. There it goes. Hmm. Okay, uh, anyways, let's, uh... Where the hell are we going? All right, now I remember what I was doing. I'm going to the uh, psychic, uh, psychic, the ice gym now. I've already got the fast travel for it. Oh, come on. E. So I don't. Thankfully, I don't need to do much to get there. So I just need to fly in. Come on. Sand. Uh... Wait, what are you trying to do now? What am I doing? Ah, fair enough. Have a nice day. Okay, I guess I should probably... Okay, because this gym is ice, and ice is predominantly weak against... I'm trying to think here... Fighting and oh, thing, although I should now. definitely take any dragons out of my party, regardless. Dragons are always a bad thing to have in a ice gym. So let's bring in the uh, the fire starter. Huh, I'm trying to think, what else would be good for fighting? Wait, why do I have no magic carp? You're you're not going. Uh, let's see, what else can I bring in? Hmm. I mean, I guess Ditto could be a good pick, as weird as it sounds. At the same time, it could also be a bad pick, depending on what I'm changing into. Uh, look, I know I need, still need to evolve uh, Sinity, but those things, so... Oh, actually, hmm, let's see, do I have a Steel Coat by any chance? There we go. Hmm. I'm trying to think, what would be a good Pokemon to stick into my team? <sighs> I'm trying to think. I Another car? Car? The hell are you on about now? This guy. I also have a car again. Oh, all the star, all the team star poke, uh, uh, teams or whatever have a have a car looking Pokemon in their on their ranks. Uh, this should be easy.
But eh, that's just more an observation, I guess. Uh, Alright. Uh, you know, I guess we'll just stick with this team. I mean, wait, or no, actually, I want to look this up real quick, actually. You can always Google. Let's see. Okay, we got that answer done because we already evolved it. What Pokemon are effective against Mark. ice? Okay, so ice. Here's information from Eurogamer Fire. Yep, okay, steel, fire, water, ice. Water is effective against ice? Huh. Also, ice is... Uh, okay, that's interesting. So... It should be the other way around. No, ice is weak against ice. Let's see. Ice is also weak against water. Fire and steel, according to the thing. But it's strong against go. flying, ground, grass, and dragon. So, my grass starter would probably be a bad pick to go into this. What? So, good to know that. Grass starter out. But a ice wa- Hmm, actually, based off that logic then, uh, it would be ideal to bring in a... Hmm, I guess my Vaporeon would probably be a good pick then, based off what it says here. Or, alternatively, a uh, Bronzor or Bronzong or whatever? Guess that's that. Trying to think. Yeah, let's just <sighs> let's just bring in Vaporeon. Why the hell not? My Vaporeon will be a good pick because it it knows ice moves and it knows water moves. So this will be a good pick. All right. I'm going to save my game just in case. I'm going to change feeds there. Okay, so... Oh, of course she's going to try to fight me. Huh. Yo, I heard you got another gym badge. Yeah, okay. Uh, thanks, I guess? She is literally Goku. Change my mind. <laughs> I swear, this woman is basically Goku. That was an easy gem test. Yeah, it's just return the dude's wallet and then buy the thing. It's not that hard to win auctions. It's just, sometimes you'll wind up paying more than you want to. In my case, I think I spent like 35000 out of the 50000 that he gave me. But on the upside, I got to keep 15000 which I wound up using on the very next item that I saw that I wanted, which was the Quick Claw. Which, to be fair, I think I spent more money than I really should have spent on it. I feel like I could have gotten that item cheaper. Ah, oh, cool. Lichen Rock. Foul okay. play. Holy shit. Okay, um...
Okay, I need to switch Pokemon or I'm gonna die. So, water starter. If anything, I think she's going to put up more of a fight than the gym leader will, as dumb as it sounds. Oh no, she hit me with a rock slide. Whatever will I do? Low kick. Hmm. That's the that's the that's the motto, right? Low kick. Let's keep actually at. Whoa, okay, bad, bad choice, bad choice. I didn't realize it was an electric type until I saw it on the field. But I thought I might have been able to get a free hit on it. Okay, it's electric. I honestly wasn't prepared to fight with uh, anything. Uh, yeah, I wasn't prepared to fight electric types. So I guess Gardevoir? Uh. Okay, Slagoo. Okay, that's the evolved form of Goomy, if I remember correctly. So, Dragon type. Okay, mm -hmm. Vaporeon. Will be ideal because dragons mm -hmm. are weak to ice. Vaporeon has an ice move in its list. Okay, come on. Let's take this thing on and hit it with a little ice beam. Oh, Slagoon, uh, Slagoon's got a bit of a resistance there, okay. Okay, I'm not going to survive this if I keep hit, just trying to attack it, so I have to heal. Oh, poor Penny. Penny's adorable. Also, uh, when can I buy her backpack? Just uh, asking for a friend. I want that big fat Eevee backpack of hers. Although, to be fair, though, I'm pretty confident my sister wants one of those as well. But, like, you know, IRL, though. As, uh, Eevee is, like, her favorite Pokemon. As well as its various evolutions. Uh. Fuck you, go go. Wow. All right, let's uh, take this on, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, there goes Vaporeon. The most submissive and, uh... Well, you, you know what the second word I was going to say is. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is bad. This is bad. I do not have my water oh, Pokemon. My. Honestly, she puts up more of a fight than the actual gym leaders do. Indeed. Oh, she's not that much stronger than me. She's only level 43, so I actually might be able to... So I finally defeated the dark types. Dark type, uh Oh yeah, the the dark type leader. Yeah, I think he's only like he's only like level twenty or something, I think. So he's not very strong. Yeah. Eh. I think the other one which is I just fought was was very high. Yeah, honestly but I managed. Honestly, a lot of the other characters are way stronger than that thing, so I mean, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Oh well, there we are. There we go. I feel kind of lame having to use a revive to basically win the battle, but... It's any which way. Hey, I use revive! Yeah, I know, but I still feel lame having to use it, though. It's not the biggest shame. All the... Oh, no, I'm not feeling shame over it. I just said I feel lame. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, so... My problem is up to level 30 to 40. So, which gym battle should I go up next? Have you done the ice gym? Nope. The ice gym, uh... Um, Let's see, I'm trying to think. Uh, because I know that... Uh, okay... Because so far, the highest gym I have fought is level 42, which was the Psychic Gym. Level what? 42, the Psychic Gym. Okay, 42 is the Psychic Gym. So, I need to go... So, what level is the Ice one? I don't know yet, but uh, I'll find out in a second. I just gotta level or restore my Pokemon back at the full. Fair enough. Yeah, honestly, uh, my rivals uh, like ripped through my health like crazy. Like she, um, how do I put this? She ripped through me like. Um, a kid threw a box of chocolates after you give it to them. Very quickly. Really? I don't know, I mean, think about it. Have you ever seen how quickly kids go through candy when you give it to them? Mm. In my experience, every time I've ever given a small child chocolate, they always go through it, like, wicked fast. Prove me wrong. I'm not saying you're wrong, but... It's out there. Damn. Oh, that's not that hard. It's a it's a time trial. The challenge. Okay, that that's not too bad. So it's a time trial race. Okay. I like the idea of this. Okay, so get from point A to point B as fast as you possibly can. Okay. Okay, so ride Pokemon downhill as fast as you can. Yep, sounds easy enough.
guess I can just ride my own ride Pokemon, and then I'm just going down. Okay, I see all the checkpoints, so I just gotta go hit all the checkpoints on the way down. Okay, that's easy enough. So, technically, it's like... Key. Yeah, except you're running. Hmm. And you gotta beat the challenge in a minute. Oh, okay. It really is skiing. Because your Pokemon's sliding the whole time. And I know the immensity of these checkpoints, there's probably going to be like a time penalty or something. I made it down in 40 seconds. Yeah, they give you way too much time. Like, like they're really generous with a timer. But I am going to go back down that hill because I saw some items on the hill. Okay, that is a big-ass Pokemon. But yeah, I saw some items along the hill that I wanted to grab. Yeah, okay, repeat ball and there was a den. Let's see what the den is. It is a two-star, not really worth doing, so I'm going to skip it. Well, easy way to gauge how strong the gym is. Random wild... or trainer battle. Trainer battles near the gym are usually a good representation of how strong the gym will actually be, based off the level. Okay. Okay, the guy's level is 35. So, the gym will probably be anywhere between 35 and 40, most likely. 35... To 40. Yeah, somewhere in that level range, I imagine. Because uh, usually the trainers just outside town are usually like four or five levels lower than the actual gym leader. Uh, how many badges do you get for the gym? What do you mean by how many gym badges do you get from a gym? No, no, no. How many gym badges you got? Oh, I've currently got six gym badges right now. So this will be my seventh. The thing is, though, I've done the gyms out of order, so I'm actually more powerful than I should be. What level is the, uh, the psychic type? 40. Two. 42. Oh, boy. Yeah. You can get there, though, and then just set it up as a fast travel point to so make it a little easier. If anything, the ice gym is actually way harder to get to. I think there is really some right? level of funniness to it, actually, that it's harder to get to the psychic gym, or the the ice gym, than it is the psychic one. The psychic one is, like, easy to get to. That's why I went mm. to it first, because it was so easy to get to. Sub-Zero Shredder himself. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the character in the trailer, like this gym leader, I genuinely thought the ice gym leader was a female, but the fact that it turned out to be male, that, that caught me off guard. And I think where goes my fucking, fucking data. Wait, what about your data? Game crash. Um, ah. Oh. Hopefully it auto saved. Should be after I beat the gym. All right. Ah, oh, there you are. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, I'm actually kind of getting cold myself. Uh, although, to be fair, though, the only reason I'm cold is because my balcony door is open. All right. All right. Get... Okay, Snowboarder so... used to be pro, actually. Just... I'm heading for that gym now. The snow area. Yeah, 
look, I'm gonna assume the gym's probably gonna be like level 30, 35, 40-ish. Alright, so... Well, I'll find out in a second. Well, uh, according oh. to what I read, ice is weak against... Because uh, here you have a thing. Uh, steel, fire, water, ice. Surprisingly water. And ice are strong against ice. I'm surprised by the ice and water, to be honest with you. Those are the two elements I never expected. Heading there now. Oh. No time. Well, let's uh, kick this kid's ass, I guess. I'd kind of like to see what he looks like under the scarf. Oh, I saw a bit of his face. Okay, that's a ice bug Pokemon? Okay, as long as he doesn't use a bug move, I'm fine. Let's go Lava Plume. Oh, 47. Well, yeah, the, the initial Pokemon that you fight outside the gym are like 43. As I said, uh -huh. the trainers outside are usually like a little bit lower than the actual gym. I just very vividly remember that they were that low. Uh, let's keep Pokemon going. Okay, that's a mono ice type, so lava plume again. Ooh, okay, um, it knows earthquake. Okay, flame charge. Ooh, okay, a new aqua jet, oh. which goes first, which is basically like the water equivalent of quick attack. Okay, let's go... Quavel. Quavel. And we'll go low kick. Or, sorry, sweep kick. Or low sweep. Ah, fuck you. No, you. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Okay, it wants to learn Aqua Ring. Aqua Ring, the mm. user envelops itself in a veil of water and regains some HP. Uh, pass. I can just hit myself with a water attack to heal myself because I have water absorb. Uh, let's keep going, I guess. Aqua Cutter. Okay, apparently this guide is uh, relatively inaccurate. Water does not seem to be super effective. Oh well, still worth... Well, at least the fighting moves I know are strong, so... I can at least still do uh, damage with fighting. Oh, fighting is super effective. Okay, I guess that's maybe not an ice type, maybe. Oh. Hyper voice. Uh, let's see. Hyper voice. Hmm. The user attacks by letting loose a horribly loud, resonant cry. If others use this move, they will. Uh, I guess I'll swap out round for Hyper Voice. Ok, 
Okay, let's see. What do you got? Okay, let's see. Oh, well, I sort of saw his face for a second. Yeah, he still has a very feminine looking face. Femboy confirmed. Alright. Flamethrower should do the trick to finish him off. I think. I hope. Probably? Question mark? Oh, the Pokemon Center. Wow, I got lucky and survived with like 2 HP basically. Damn. What what the actual hell? And I got I got in my victory blow. Cuz I don't think uh, any of my other Pokémon would have been able to do much for damage on this thing. Yeah, I melted through straight through your ice. Although I will say that that is an adorable scarf and I could very much see that being sold in the Pokémon Center. A scarf with, like, a giant Pokeball palm on the end of it? I could see that being sold in the Pokemon store. Yes, give me my gym badge. Oh my... God damn it. <laughs> okay, with seven badges, I can now control and train and catch Pokemon up to level 55. Ice Spinner. The user converts, uh, covers its feet in thin ice and twirls around, slamming into the target. The move spinning motion also destroys the terrain. Ah, so if there's any of those terrain edit moves, it'll alter them back to normal. That's neat. So, like, rain or sunny day will get altered, because those are terrain moves, or the psychic terrain or thunder terrain or whatever. Oh my god, that character next to them is adorable. I love that, love how that character looks. They're so adorable. I want to give them head pads. Yeah, I can oh glide my. now. Oh my god. The Elite Four has a lolly. Confirmed. The Elite Four has a lolly. Damn it. Her I name is Poppy. I think I'm near, near the gym now. No. Here you go for- I'm at the ghost gym! Ghost gym? Is there a ghost gym? Mm. I think that would be a star thing. There is. No, there is a ghost gym. 
Give me a second, I'll have to look at my map. I think that's the final gym. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it now. Ghost gym. I'm looking for the us tight one. Oh, it looks like this uh, gym is unique as they do double battles here. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's uh, That's definitely unique. Okay, I've never been to that town. Hmm. Okay, I can either go for the... Um... Okay, so I've got one legend left. And uh, two star bases. I'm probably going to want to just do the final gym just to get it out of the way. Because then I don't have to worry about my Pokemon levels anymore, and I can just focus on the star bases. Because if I've... you obviously remember the fact that once you have all the badges, you can just raise the Pokemon to whatever level you want. No need yeah. to worry about Pokemon levels. You can just catch and raise the Pokemon however the hell you want. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm at the ice... I'm at the ice gym. Phew. Yeah, and I'm gonna say right now, it seems like the Pokemon are like around level 35, 36-ish. Oh, miracle so... scene. What? I think the strongest Pokemon I encountered was like around level 37. Or... So, as long as your Pokemon are level 37 or higher, you should be fine. But I saw your screen, it says 47. 47? Was it 47? I count! Okay, I'm... I'm, I'm still confident you could probably... beat it with... even with, uh... lower-level Pokémon. So... what was it? Weakness again? Okay, well, um... Okay, I know that the type chart here says... Water? Um, that's wrong. It's actually fighting. So, no. steel, fire, fighting ice. So, steel, fire, fire, and ice. And fighting. And fighting. Yep, so those will steel, all be good in the gym. Fire, and fighting. Yep. Uh, I'll try. Do I need to bring a rock Pokemon? Mm. I mean, if your rock Pokemon happens to know any uh, steel moves, then Hello, by all sweet. means. Uh, so it's yeah, so um, the second so Pokemon in their team has a weakness to uh, fighting. That's why I'm suggesting putting a fighting on your team. The second Pokemon they pull out has a weakness to fighting moves. Okay. I think I might... I think I might manage. Oh wow, I made it to the ghost gym already. It only took me a couple seconds. Because literally you can just cheese your way there by just climbing up the mountain a bit. And then jumping up and over. And then just air bombing your way into town. Gotta love that there's a bunch of ghost Pokemon just outside town. Wait. What Scyther's evolution is? Uh, Scizor. Scizor. You need a metal coat to get that. Oh. Yeah, if I remember you need a metal coat for that. And then you have to equip it with that and then trade it. And then the metal coat disappears and you ha come back with a Scizor. Yeah, I need to get a, oh. um... Oh, God damn it! I didn't want to go back in the shop. I wanted to walk out. Hmm, let's see. We go okay, we got a mystery item over there.
Okay, I'll talk to the sandwich shop, I guess. Oh wait, my worm? My worm is level 36. Mm. But I can manage, right? You know, if you're not 100% sure, you could always raise your Pokemon's levels up a bit. Just to be safe. I mean, you've got candies from, like, doing the dens, right? I just used them all. <laughs> okay, let's see. What does this guy got for me? Well... Well, I'll try. It's gonna take a while. Oh, wait, I saw a hamburger. Oh, and flying. bacon. A three, three star flying. Hmm. I'm trying to think, is that be, if that'd be worth doing for me? Okay, so seeing as I'm going to be fighting against ghost Pokemon, let's look at this chart again. You weren't able to. Do you you kidding me? Wait, what? What am I supposed to be kidding about? I'm trying to get into a three star Dan, and it won't let me in. Well, to quote the famous words of that one guy uh, on the internet. What do you say? Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in! Okay, so normal and dark would be ideal for this gym. So normal and dark types. You want the... <laughs> For the Larry, you son of a bitch. Okay, so let's see. Well, because of Guard of War's psychic typing, she'd be terrible for this gym. So let's take Guard of War out of the party. Due to Rotom's ghost typing, also bad for this. Same goes for my fire starter. And my fire Pokemon there is also bad for this because of his fire psychic dual typing, leaving me with only Vaporeon and Quasiquavel. Okay, let's see. Okay, for dark, we've got uh, Galbat. Can put you in. Cyclozar will still be a good pick, regardless. Actually, wait a minute. I could sort of bypass the uh, thing. Because I can technically use Gengar and Tiaraform him into a poison type. So, I mean, I could technically bypass the restrictions, but... Uh, hmm... Hmm, okay, well, actually, Blissey wouldn't actually be too bad, because Blissey's normal. Okay, so almost picked up my party. Uh, hmm. Choose what you choose, what you choose. Oh, well, I guess I can go with uh, Tinkertuff. Can't go wrong with that. And then just 
pump myself full of candies, I guess. To make up for the levels. Learn slam? Sure, slam. Oh, but slam will be bad for this gym, just because uh, it's a normal move. And as we all know, uh, ghosts are immune to normal. Yeah, let's get rid of Rock Smash and go with Flash. I'll be right back. Yeah, no, no worries, no worries, no worries. I'm going to need to level up a lot more, so I'm going to need to grind a smidge. So, Den's art on the menu, it would seem was. Let's see what I got for Den's. Are there still Eevee Den's around, or have they switched over to a thing? I haven't seen an Eevee den in a while. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I'm guessing the Eevee den promo must be over. I mean, not the end of the world, to be blunt. I will say this also, when it comes to the Ditto dens, it doesn't really matter what the tiara form is for Ditto. Because Ditto just turns into whatever, so... It's really all about what you turn into that makes it good or bad, really. Okay, cool. Oh, that's that's interesting. Okay, um, change Pokemon that's electric. So we want a ground Pokemon, basically. I guess that one will work. It's not really the right typing, but I mean, I got the right move set, so that should do the trick, I think. At least I think I got the right move set. Gotta love how that one dude's like literally wearing like what looks like a motorcycle helmet or a fighter pilot helmet. Oh, someone's showing off their shiny. Ooh. Gotta love how the shiny was the weakest one here. Your shiny show off didn't pay off. Oh no. Oh, okay, now I'm just sounding like an asshole who's petty because he hasn't found a single wild shiny yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw an Ultra Ball at this thing.
Uh, question, what level would the normals be? Sorry, uh, what? The normal one? Yeah. Uh, I think that was around 35, I want to say. So it's, I know it's under 40. I, I know that much. I don't remember the exact level. Might have been 20. I just remember it being very easy for me. Because I breezed through the normal gym. Well, I got a Sviper now. Oh, wait, does Sviper evolve from something? I feel like Sviper evolves from something. I just haven't encountered the pre evolve form. Oh, well. Let's get a raid going again. Let's see if I can get what it is. Okay, I'm just going to do a random den. Because at least that way I guaranteed to get in. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that's an electric normal type. Okay, so as long as I'm not using water, I should be fine. So. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing doesn't know any electric moves. <sighs> I think I should be able to do this. Although I wish I, I wish it did reveal the link code for dens that you join, just so you could potentially get friends to join and help out with the dens that you join randomly. I don't know if that makes me come off as like a butt or anything like that, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we got a full party now. Okay, cool. What is the dish thing? Uh, I believe it was medium serving rice balls, lemon wedge. Uh, well done. Like, to the point where they're crispy. Medium, right? Uh, medium serving, full heat. Well done, right? Yeah, yeah, well done. Or, uh, crispy, I think it was. So, like, the maximum heat setting you can set it to. Oh, okay. The Scarlet Ride Pokemon is apparently really good in battle, from what I can tell. Because some of my, uh, in the den I'm in is using the, the Scarlet Ride Pokemon. Okay, on the next turn, I'm going to be using uh, Heal. That should do the trick, I think. Oh, it one-shot me. Okay. That was brutal. Well, I at least healed the more powerful Pokemon, so I don't feel as bad. Yeah, I'm not, I am not cutting it in this one very much. But, I mean, at least I still won, and I feel like my healing definitely helped out. Because no one else other than me died. And I only died the one time, so... Uh, let's use a Great Ball. 
I don't think I need to use anything greater than a Great Ball for this, for some reason. Not sure why I feel like I only need to use a regular, or a Great Ball. Just a funny feeling, I guess. Thing evolves too. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. I should have gotten a decent amount of candies. Let's try using a bunch. Want to learn play rough? Yes, definitely want to learn that. Let's get rid of Sweet Kiss. Wants to learn Fake Out. Sure, let's get Fake Out. Okay, 51, 38. Okay, yeah, it's not that great. Uh, let's skip Fake Out, actually. Oh, cool, it's evolving. Finally, now I... T oh. Uh, thanks? Oh, cool, I got a hammer now. Ah, cool, now I can finally hunt down some Corviknights. Gigaton hammer. Um, yes, please. I I'm sorry, how much? 160 power? Oh, the only downside of this move is it can't be used twice in a row. Oh, well, I don't think I need to use it twice when it's that powerful. Yes, get rid of Flash Cannon. I'm sorry. Wow, that is powerful. Okay, I feel like I should just swap out Vaporeon to a little bit of a risky thing. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I guess... I oh! I could use this guy! He's he's appropriately leveled. Okay, let's swap out... Uh, swap out Vaporeon. Wait a minute. I can use this in a ghost gym. Uh, oh yeah, probably still want to use this though. Uh, let's get rid of Blissey. I don't really need Blissey, I guess, that badly. But I still want to use the... I still want to use a Tinker Ton. Oh, there's a, some Ace Attorney games on... Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. They re-released the original three Ace Attorney games on iPhone. Uh, as well as Android. So, Phoenix Wright, Phoenix Wright... Uh, what was it? Trials and Tribulation... And I forget what the third one was called... Well, e either way, it's the first three Phoenix Wright games. They were also released on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, so it's the exact same ones as the Switch version, because they actually just ported the uh, the mobile phone versions to console. 
So I essentially have the mobile phone versions. I've actually already completed the first case of the game on stream. I should probably get around to finishing the game at some point, but um, I was playing with a group of friends. We were like all doing like sort of like a live dub thing. Uh, yeah, there's Apollo Justice was the uh, the one that came after it. So that's the, essentially the uh, the fourth installment in the Phoenix Wright series. Uh, that's actually why in Japan, I believe, it's just called Ace Attorney 4. If I'm not mistaken... On that front. Yep, but that, uh, you know what that should do, I think. Actually, wait, I should probably restore my Pokemon's health because I feel like, um, Either way, I know that Apollo Justice is available on mobile, though. I don't know why, like, I, I just love that little thing, that little gremlin with its giant-ass hammer. It's time to get up to no good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like the aesthetic of this arena. Okay, I have a funny feeling there's something behind the gym. Well, I was definitely right. I am not a gremlin. I'm I'm not. I'm not a gremlin, am I? Uh, what do I know? Uh <laughs> Oh god, she's gonna want to fight me, isn't she? But yeah, you heard from Rika, yes. Okay. You're my chibi? Uh, give me a second. Uh, switch. I can do that much. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna look, I'm gonna show you a new version of my model. I haven't even debuted this one yet. Sort of a hybrid, if you will. Uh, I've literally labeled this one um, anime. Um, but uh, give me a second here. Let me uh, just. Uh, But, I, I don't know. G give me a second here. Um, I just gotta adjust a few settings before I can... Okay. Okay, so here's a sort of a pseudo-debut, I guess. Keep in mind, this one's still a work in progress, so... Uh, there is going to be a little bit of scuff. Blah! <laughs> uh, does the... Does I guess this is sort of okay. It looks fine. Get dab done. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Am I supposed to be adorable? Oh, there's the scuff. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not adorable. I'm not adorable. I am a fierce uh, vampire. Blah. <laughs> yes, I am a ferocious. <laughs> Muppet? I, I don't think I'm like a Muppet. Am I like a Muppet? I don't think I'm like a Muppet. 
I don't think I'm like a Muppet. But anyways, uh, here, I'll, I'll switch to the the actual uh, chibi model here real ah. quick. Hmm? Yeah, that one's uh, very scuffed. I forgot I meet myself. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Fuck you, normal gym. Where the hell is the chibi? I'm not seeing it. Oh, there, there, I know that. Oh, there it is, chibi. Although, I do actually have access to a Muppet model, but that one hasn't isn't quite ready yet. Although... Uh, hmm? Protest in the waiting room. Uh... I don't know, I mean, your call if you want to... what you want to do there. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll send him in. Yeah, because I'm probably going to end after I'm done this gym challenge, because this is the last gym. Oh, finally. <laughs> I thought you forgot about me, bro. <laughs> that was something for Lord knows how long. What, what do we stream? Well, Mario is streaming. Oh. Yeah, it's, uh, well, I mean, I'm technically playing the exact same thing. Pokemans. Uh, yeah, I'll go, I'll go watch Mario stream. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I'm on the final gym. It's the, uh, the ice gym. Not sorry, not the ice gym. The ghost gym. In Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, you got a Gardevoir. Nice. Ah, I have one too. Gardevoir and I. Uh, there is a lot of Pokemon I don't recognize. I mean, it's oh, I, I kind of I want to get the future paradox version of Gardevoir. Wait, there's there's an alternate version besides Gladiwar. Huh. Future Paradox. Uh, yeah. Uh, what server am I on? Um, I'll... how? What exactly is the Future Paradox? Um, oh, this version. I mean. Okay, basically, there's a gimmick in both uh, Scarlet and Violet where there's Paradox Pokemon. Uh, they represent the past and the future. Oh, okay. Uh, a Paradox Pokemon will display characteristics that kind of depict the past or the future. Okay, a future like Paradox that. Pokemon will be more robotic looking, where a past Paradox will be more caveman looking. Oh, that's kind of cool. Huh. Uh, I like I like that. That's, that would be an interesting aesthetic. Um, private. But anyways, um... Okay, it's an MC Sledge in the front stage. Okay. Wait, so we, we're just doing battles? That's it? Okay, okay, that's that's interesting. Well, it's a gym. What did you expect? Yeah, but all the previous gyms have had me do some stupid mini game. I mean, hell, the oh, ice, like the ice, the ice yeah. gym literally had me sledding down a hill. Yeah, I don't like the uh, puzzles in gyms. Oh, well, actually... Oh my god, is that moist critical? Wait, what? Oh, I gotta look. I gotta see if this is moist. Is that moist critical? Like, does it look like him? A bit. I mean, it even dresses a bit like him. Yeah, baby, woo! Hey, you, opening act! It's me! It's moist critical here. Yo, Fuck, trainer! You're the one performing in the opening act today! My name's MC Sledge! <laughs> Dude, you sound like Elvis a bit there. Oh, don't Elvis, not voice critical. This is the act for today. My name is MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. We're performing in the middle of a fucking blizzard. Woo, baby, let's go! <laughs> Woo, I mean, his name is Penguin. Oh my god, it does look like him. <laughs> oh my god, it does. He's pulling his cock out! He's pulling his cock out! <laughs> like, it looks like him and so here's today's deal. We're gonna have a double battle. Oh my god. I mean, to be fair, West Critical did go by the name of, like, uh, Penguin Zero, too, so. Yeah, like, that's her YouTube channel name, yeah. Yeah. So. But, either way. Oh, you changed your avatar to a little cheeky. Yeah, I, I've got, like, um, I, I got, like, uh, although, 
Hmm, actually, I'm going to switch again. Uh, I'm going to show off like another variant of my model that I worked on. It's it's still relatively new, so it's it hasn't been like completely ironed out yet. It's still got a few kinks that need to be ironed out. It makes me think of like the Higley Ton Heroes, if you know that. Or the, oh, wait, oh uh, okay. For some reason, uh, I got to adjust the camera feed. There we go. Ah, uh, this one. To go that would be the clue the leader took on the stage. It's the... Let's say the... you test. Bye, yo. Yeah, it's the uh, the anime. Uh... Oh, I like that one. Yeah. yeah, I was. I don't know. I mean, I like kind of like it. Mom said it's my turn with the Xbox. I'm excited to do that. <laughs> yeah, although I'm wearing the, although it's the same outfit though. So I mean, I'm not wearing anything oh, yeah, really yeah, different. Yeah, it's still, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If, if I switch, if I switch over here and then uh, yeah. go to my. Free... I like the eyes. I I like the eyes. What's going on? I'm still waiting. It's waiting Quite for cool. what? You're just ascending. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> no, <laughs> Tim is ascending. That's yeah. Like, uh, oh, wait, it is? Wait, is it confirmed? Wait, is it actually much critical? Really? Well, it, it just, I think it's just modeled after him. I don't think it's actually him because there's no voice right. acting in the game. I mean, if there was voice acting in the game, I mean, I guarantee you they would probably have him voiced by Moist Critical, just because. Uh, I highly doubt game it. Game is not responding. Wait, did the game crash or something? But did like, no. freeze? Honestly, I, I would say right now, don't bother clicking on specific tiara dens on mm -hmm. the list. Just hit random. It'll pair you with one that's a, more appropriate for your level based off what Pokemon levels you have. Okay, me. You open it next, begin stage as soon as you get up on stage. You'll be no big that you win. Okay, I gotta win three times in a row. There'll be no big deal until you win three times in a row, so make sure you're ready, baby. Imagine battling voice crook on a Pokemon battle. That's the thing I never not thought yet. I'd okay, say. Okay, not yet. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna set aside for now. Can you explain again? Okay, I'm no, gonna get my uh, get, get my team. Make sure my team's ideally set up. Okay, so was he an ice gym leader? No, it's a ghost gym leader, but uh, Ooh, ghost. Fun. But uh, uh, he's not the gym leader. He's more the test. Oh, so... you got. Of course, you got. Of course, you got uh, that one. Is there that its final? Is it that's its final form? Yeah, I that's uh, yeah, that's uh, the final evolution of the grass starter. God, right. That's uh, the Scarch Humps. And this is the I final of the water starter. Sky. Oh, you got a Quiver, too. Yeah, actually, I actually have all three starters. Oh, nice. Let's see it. Let's see the Oh, actually, give me a second here. Let me back it real quick. I can show you real quick. I, I don't remember the third one. Uh, the third one was uh, a crocodile. Give yeah, me a second here. I just Let's go to my box just really it. quick. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah I mean, it kind of is obvious that it's it's definitely inspired by him. I don't think, for legal reasons, they can't necessarily label it as him. <laughs> is it most it... critical? Yes, but actually, no. <laughs> 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 well, well I mean, sleepy. MC is also a DJ slash music term. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be moist critical. I mean, yeah, if we, you believe what's in your heart. Well, either way, this is the uh, the the fire starter when it's fully evolved. It's a ghost type as well. No, fire a ghost. ghost, fire That's... ghost, fire goats. So you're telling me under the stars this is a good part ghost. Yeah. I mean, the SY is like that too. I mean, so. the the water starter is a water fighting, and the grass starter becomes water uh, grass dark. Wait, musical is grass dark. I so mean, grass, dark, uh, water, fighting. water fighting, and fire ghost, which I, I will say, uh, it's actually kind of rare that the water starter actually becomes the fighting type because almost always it's the fire starter that becomes a fighting type. Like Blaze Ken and Cinderace. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Incineroar yeah, sort of fun. is implied oh, yeah, to be a fighting type. Sure. I mean, it, it's it. not exactly not a fighting type, fighting. but I mean, it might as well be. Dude, it's based on our, like, American wrestling. How do you not assume that? Yeah, the thing is, it's just a mono fire type. It's not actually a... It's not actually a fighting type. Surprisingly. I 
guess fighting ought to be uh, that on the nose. Uh, yeah. Be right back. All right. This sweet just played by you, baby. I will never get tired of doing it my <laughs> voice critical. That's... Okay, warm up. Hmm. Heh. I mean, you are in a, a blizzard, so warming up is, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's three back to back double battles. What's up? Much, much real. Oh, here's my opponent, a random 10 year old child. Shit. Well, time to punt this kid off the mountain. <laughs> time to make a Time to make a kid cry. And that hat is tacky. <laughs> I don't know. My, my hat is far superior. It's a bowler hat, which means I'm oh, fancier hell. than him. Oh hell yeah! It's a, my if it's a if hot. it's a battle of hats, I, I have the far superior <laughs> hat. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. Crush it. Crush, destroy child. Uh, I always think of Tuxedo Mask when I see that thing. Damn! Wait, Ow. Wow. Damn. Damn, you just, like, one shot. Dude, you... Well, it was a basic tie, so... Yeah. yeah. Was, well, to be fair, the first battle's gonna be the easiest. Wow, this... Yeah. Okay, let's go. Cool. This so battle's what, amazing. What I just see two basic but I get whipped. To be fair, this is the first battle out of three. I gotta do two more, two more. in a row. Yeah. Well, darn. Okay, let's. Well, oh, it's your character. Okay. Well, that's that. That's done. And there's Moist oh, Critical on the sidelines just cheering us on. Oh, yeah! Baby. Yeah, baby, let's go! Kick the child off the mountain! <laughs> I just want to see Moist Critical and uh, so we draw Moist Critical as a foot punch here. Oh, I, I, I mean, it might, as, might as well be him, all things considered. I, I've seen somebody current of somebody else, but I'm like, nope, it's Moist I love how there's like just a bunch of random tombstones in the audience. <laughs> what are those? Uh, I'll pay attention, don't pay attention to those. Uh, uh, there is a there special are, surprise uh, that'll come in effect later. Oh, he healed me. Okay, that that makes things a little easier for me. Most critical gave you a heal. Okay, um, okay, we got Buff Woman in a cowboy hat. What's her team? <laughs> you yeet your last ha. Huh? I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, her design kind of reminds me of Android 18 from Dragon Ball Z. Oh shit, I can see it. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, a haunter. Okay, so we're gonna do play rough on the haunter. And we're gonna do Shadow Claw. Uh, Which is dark. Shadow Claw is actually a ghost type move, actually, and ghosts are weak to ghost. Which makes no sense, but I'll take it. Uh, okay, Appleshine, in my chat, was asking, um, Claw, would you be interested in doing some uh, Fortnite after? Ah, oh, pain. This training might actually be good, or just have a decent team of Pokemon. Yeah, honestly, I'm kind of overpowered for this gym. I know. That's how I feel when I was playing this other game. Well, I was to like, be fair, I'm I'm, I'm five thing. levels over what this gym is supposed to be. To be fair, that'd probably be me. I'd be way too overpowered. Because that would grind. Yeah, to Aww. be fair, I didn't really... I grinded early on, because I had to grind to fight a level 40... Oh god, her hair is clipping through her head. No, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> don't, don't pay attention to that. that. that that's not, that's not, fa that's not uh, her hair on her head. That's actually facial hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> the bearded lady. Now for the opening act. We'll be next to the tree and soon lead up to 11. Woo! Let's MC, it's me, MC Sledge! Let's MC go! MC Critical. Because MC Moist just sounds weird. <laughs> MC Critical. Being an MC isn't my only forte, I can do double battles too. 
I'll sledge you up real good in a double battle. Oh, we're gonna fight most critical now. All fear moist critical. Oh, that's not a. I think that's like a. I think that's like a dark type and a ghost type. Oh, uh, uh, Sableye? I yeah, Sableye is a dark type, not a ghost type. Yeah, I think she's dark. I mean, it can learn ghost moves. Yeah, I know. I love Sableye. Sableye's adorable. I love Sableye. Well, Sableye got knocked out. <laughs> Sableye got his ass wit. Well, yeah, it's because I have a fairy move. And dark the types are weak to fairy. Dark, yeah. I mean, he just. And him his Drifloom is self destructing. And I survived the self destruct. Self destruct didn't do enough damage. Um, <laughs> That's like. It's like, uh. uh yeah. <laughs> just oh, like that. Liquidation? What the hell is liquidation? Uh, the user slams into the target with full force. This also has a chance to lower the target's defense. 85 damage, and 100 accuracy. It's a physical attack. Uh, okay, actually, that's good for me, actually. Hmm. Um, okay, I can either go with Aqua Cutter. Uh, this has a chance of this to land a critical, so... Hmm. I'm actually having a tough time deciding what I want to get rid of. Because Aqua Step has a chance to boost my speed, but this has a chance to lower my opponent's defense. Hmm, let's see. I'll ask the advice. What does it suggest? It says... Wouldn't mind skipping Liquidation. I'm not gonna lie, though. Liquidation's actually really good, though. Wait, how do you do that? I didn't know you could do that. What? Ask for advice? It's like, where the hell was that in previous games? <laughs> well, it, it makes a suggestion. Uh, it, I think it's been around since Sword and Shield. It might also really? be in the Let's Go games, too, but... I I don't know when Sword and Shield, but then again, I would touch Sword and Shield sometime. Uh, let's get rid of Aqua Step. I mean, the speed... Or actually, no, no. I, uh, I'm not really using Aerial Ace all that much, so I guess I can get rid of Aerial Ace. Like, yeah, it's psychic gym. I don't mind having three water moves, because, I mean, it's literally a water fighting type, so... It was you oh. who sledged me up. Hey, good heavens. <laughs> um, oh, I thought it was you making the joke. It was him. <laughs> yeah. See, there's like just a bunch of random tombstones in the audience. The audience excitement has reached fever pitch. Woo! <laughs> also, there's a great battle. Thank you, Tim. Congratulations, you passed the gym test. Give him a round of applause, everybody. Woo! Uh, I, I get a sticker. I got a sticker. Mom gave me a sticker because she says I'm special. Well, Mom said you a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait, are we oh, yeah, baby, that? this is what I've been waiting for. This is what I've been waiting for. He actually said that. <laughs> Oh, Rhyme. Yeah. Give it up for MC R.I.P. Rhyme! Oh! I mean, I just don't like the name. They, they, they literally knew what they were doing. They literally, they knew that this guy looked like Moist Critical. He literally quoted yeah, Moist Critical. Come on! Come on. It's like... Oh, yes. Oh, I'm... rapping oh, grandma. Yeah. The gym leader is a rapping grandma. Oh shit, we're fighting Grandma! <laughs> they were battling Grandma. I mean, to be fair, the other gym leader and Sword was a uh, elderly. This crowd is so loud it could wake the dead. I mean, it makes sense. It's a ghost gym. Uh, uh okay. Is she wearing a hat backwards? Yes. Oh shit, Grandma about to bust rhymes! <laughs> grandma got bars! Grandma about to, about to slay. <laughs> grandma about to roast me. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh god. <laughs> Grandma, no! <laughs> I got all ready for the roast. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna quickly fast travel to the Pokemon Center. I'm not ready to fight Grandma yet. <laughs> well, I need to heal up from that double battle. And just also maybe to be safe, maybe stock up on a few extra potions. Just to be safe. 
You never know, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, mainly for the psychic gym. Also, uh, I mean, I got my little trouble, uh, my little gremlin on my team. I do like the little, I do like the healing center, the Poké Centers. Yeah, I, I like how the Pokemon Centers are like outdoors and little kiosks practically. Yeah, I definitely like the one, they definitely come a long way. So I remember some of the old ones too. I mean, don't get me I mean, wrong, I mean... Fun. I definitely like the fact that they're outdoors because it definitely removes the need for like a loading screen transition. Yeah, definitely saves you time. And because of the fact that it's... Although, um, I will say, apparently on the day one build of the game, there were some issues with it. Oh, uh, like what? Uh, apparently it's because the, the game uh, was... Um, how do I describe this? It loaded the whole world map in one chunk, apparently. Ooh, bro. Yeah, that's not necessarily good for this, the hardware. So apparently there was a lot of chugging along in the performance. Uh, apparently now it loads, in, it loads in chunks now, from what I've heard. So there have been significant improvements in performance. It still dips a little bit here and there, but I mean, for the most part, it's not that bad. Although, I've heard that people um, who are running the game on emulators have been able to get this game to run at 60 frames. All that tells me is that the Switch is just not uh, that po yeah. not powerful enough. So honestly, it makes me think that Nintendo should probably look into making a new console, or at least a Switch Pro. Yeah, I can actually see them doing that. Honestly, I would sooner a Switch Pro over a whole new console, because, I mean, it will just divide the um, the market a bit too much if they release a whole new console. Finally, get to buy some Ultra Balls. Get to buy your balls. Oh. Oh, God. Am I doing a rap battle now? Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Grandma's rap battling. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's my time. This is my day. You're gonna stand in my way? Listen up, Brian. Your rain ends here. You're gonna get rung up like a by the, this pro cashier. Oh god, he's a cashier. Oh god. He, he's trying to... No, no, no here, my mixtape. Oh, come on, Jamal. Not, not again. <laughs> the, the, the pro cashier. Well, I'm about to check oh. out. Must have got your oh, rhymes god. on deep discount. Oh! Oh, please, you think you uh, can step up my game? Fool, I got rhyme right here in my name. Well, it's rim, but oh, it's not to argue semantics. I am the specter from which those projector and victory unto me. You will render when the... When the what? Come when on. the crowd sees your mere pretender. Oh, dang, you call him fake. You want to end my you. reign? You keep on dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid. Start reading. <laughs> Man, she's like roasting off. I'm done, you won! Ah! Runs away like a man. bitch. It's like, man, I guess you really killed him. Hold up, where are you going? Is that all you got? After my <laughs> next shift? Seriously? Boz gotta, over jokes? Gotta... Come on! I, I, I love oh. this lady. The best grandma ever. Rapping grandma. I am gonna I'm gonna kick her ass. Time to make time to step up. Back correct battle or gym battle. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I actually get to choose. Um oh, excuse no, me? No 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 uh, Rap battle. I need to pick rap, rap. battle. Oh uh, I'm no, here for like, rap battle. Me. Hey you got you jokes. Like we both know why you're here really here. <laughs> oh, oh. Rap battle. Oh, that's oh you, you cock tease so me, game. You cock tease oh, me. Woman. Bro, can you imagine though? Like, I got all my, I got all my bars ready, and then oh, no, oh, fine, we'll do a Pokemon battle. I rap salutes of my soul, baby. We even words of sympathy of poetry. I guess you're really killing it. Don't try to step me one last round. I'm like, say blood, my meat look will leave you down. You know what it makes me think of? Killer B from Naruto. Because that was his whole gimmick, too. 
This is an old dude that looked like Hulk Hogan and he rhymes a lot. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, Killer B wasn't that interesting of a character. No, he wasn't. But that was his whole gimmick, though. You feel me? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Kribs? News is not all the talk about skills of ghost types. Alright, I found the okay, psychic right. gem. Oh, did you? Yeah. Name is Ryan and also the embassy of the rip. But I need to figure out what weaknesses the uh, psychic is. Psychic are weak to dark, ghost, and bug. Yep. Dark, ghost, and bug. Yeah. Yep. Ghost, dark, bug. And it's supposed to. It's supposed to emulate gears. Essentially, uh, forty. They range from forty-two to like forty-seven, I believe. I might double battle this to scare you. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake! What about the dark? Oh. What about the? What about the dark? Fairy. Uh, for ghosts, it's fairy ghost. I think there's another one, but I'm uh, not. ghosts are weak to. Um... There was fairy, right? No, no, no. Uh, ghosts are weak to. Um... They're, uh, they can't hurt dark, they can't hurt normal, and they're weak to dark and ghost and psychic. Dark, ghost, and psychic. Yep. Yeah, for the ghost types, yeah. And what level they are on? Uh, I'm seeing like 42. 42. Should I tackle the ghost type? How do you tackle a ghost? Oh, sorry, 41. Uh, they're they're immune to normal moves, so no tackle won't work. On ghost. You gotta have ghost. Man, oh, oh, you mean, oh, go for the gym. Yeah, by all means. I'm, yeah. I'm, and also, it's double battles. Just a heads up on that. I know, I heard. Sounds like you're, you're in ahead of me, Omega. Oh, I can say it, please. You're ahead of me. Yeah, I'm on the final gym. Well, this is going to be my last gym, I should say. Honestly, the psychic gym is actually more powerful than the, the ghost gym. That's kind of sad. I'm gonna have to like get. I'm gonna have to like get my hands on on, on a cup. Oh, of this. she sent out a Toxtricity as her final Pokemon. Wow, that's a Pokemon I haven't seen in a while. Yeah, but she's gonna Tiara form it, which will become a Ghost type because. Uh, Toxtricity is a poison electric type. I guess that would make sense. I mean, for it to keep up the theme. <clears throat> Time to beat up a lizard. Look, he looks so bored, though. Okay, it's going to tiara form, and I'm going to uh, slash it, I guess. I love how there's like just a bunch. Oh, the, the the tombstones are revealing oh, that they're game. actually ghost Pokemon that buried buried themselves in the snow. Oh, I love the DJ. <laughs> the DJ that was doing the music this whole time was a little ghost dog on the speaker. <laughs> oh, they're adorable. When I'm on the mic, even the dead rise up. DJ G Rave over there, sure feeling it. I don't think I don't think they feel anything. They're dead, so <laughs> they're ghosts. So, I don't think ghosts ghost type, so ghost types are waking to what now? Ghost, psychic, and um, psychic and uh, dark. And dark. Well, there goes the toxicity. Yeah, you don't goes, although I would probably advise using Ghost-type Pokemon, because you'll also be weak to it. Although, you could use normal Pokemon that know Ghost moves. That would be the ideal setup. Shit. Time, time to beat up the dog. Any Pokemon that has Ghost-type, hold on. So what does this gimmick do? Like... It's kind of like Mega Evolution. It just boosts the power. 
but the other gimmick is that basically the tiara form changes the Pokemon's typing, uh, based off whatever the tiara element is. But, uh, you can only have a single element for your tiara form, not, uh, so dual elements become single element types. For example, my grass starter just becomes a sing, uh, single element, becomes grass again. Uh, fire becomes fire. My water... Uh, you know what I mean. But, like, for example, my Pikachu, though, is really unique. It becomes a flying type. Yeah, I heard. Oh, it's evolving. Most, nice. I thought that was the most dumbest thing ever. It grew up. It grew up so fast. Well, I mean, to be fair, it only needed to go up one level to evolve. Oh, Psyking. Yeah, I know this Pokemon. Hey, look. Hey, look. It's me. There we go. Full set now. I don't have to... And it wants to learn Swagger now. Yeah, let's not give it Swagger at all. I never used Swagger myself. I just Although, to be whatever. fair, though, I only used it for this battle because it had immunity to ghost types. That's the only reason I used it. That, it was already the perfect level to go into the gym battle with. Because I literally caught that in a, uh, a raid den. Oh, and I just realized one of the, the bits of her dreads is, like, literally shaped to look like a freaking skeleton arm. Oh, I never noticed. Like, that is actually really cool. Yeah, like, the dread that's kind of hanging out of her hat is literally shaped like a skeleton arm. That is... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, I see it, yeah. Oh, I, wow, I'm slow. Ish. I also kind of like how her lipstick doesn't cover all her lip. It just covers the bottom half. It actually makes her lips seem smaller but also really highlights the bottom half. One Shadow Ball, yay. Ooh, that's a good TM. And uh, because of the whole crafting system, I can just craft more Shadow Balls now that I have it. Thanks, Grandma. Spooky Grandma. Oh god, am I going to be battling her again? Oh, yes. I heard a lot of things about this character. Yeah, she's basically Goku in female form. Let's be real here. <laughs> Your rival's Goku? Fuck yeah. <laughs> she, she's basically female Goku, if you think about it. She's constantly trying to get me to become better. She's always trying to make me self-improve, so she has more of a challenge when she fights me. That is literally Goku in a nutshell. <laughs> Does that make you grow <laughs> uh, I would argue I'm more of the Vegeta to her Goku. Vegeta. Yeah, okay, I can see that. Yeah. Or if we're talking original Dragon Ball, I'm Piccolo. Oh, you're Piccolo. Uh, also acceptable. Wait, does that mean that I'd be a better father than her? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I have Doritos Salsi Verde. I have soup. Sal Salsa Verde. I have Which soup. Means... I'm and it kind of tastes bad. I mean, it adds spice to it. I need to find gas to get you get out of Oh, yeah, you're right. You are. Wow, you are at the end of the game. You're not kidding. Although, benefit to having all the badges now. I don't have to worry about my level cap. I can just raise my Pokemon to whatever level I want now. All I have is five. So, what level cap do I need to allow to level up my Pokemon before it doesn't, you know... Uh, how many badges you got? Five. Uh, five, I believe that's, uh, 40, I think? Eight. Well, I know at seven it was 50. Then before that, at, uh, six was 45. So, 5 would be 40? I'm screwed. Although, you can get the Pokemon to obey you anyways. 
if they have a high enough friendship, they are just more likely to obey you if you have the right badge number. So your starters will inherently always obey you because, you know, max friendship from you having them for so long. Ah, uh, that's, uh, that's a nice relief. Now I don't have to worry about the level cap anymore. That's one that's less thing on my mind. That's usually a good thing. Yep. Yeah, which means I can freely raise my level cap. So it just makes it unlimited? Well, yeah, when you have all the gym badges, you can just raise your level to whatever level you want. Because hmm. the max level increases to 100. So you're saying uh, level 41 to 42, right? For the ghost type gym. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Because, I mean, all her Pokemon were level 42 when I fought her. I mean, you could beat that with just level 40 Pokemon. I'm telling you right now. Well, I have one Pokemon that is level level 42. One is a level 40, which is a steel type. Right. Uh, I need to alter my party. I'm taking slacking out. He was definitely useful in that gym battle. I don't think I have any... Oh. Wait. There. Uh... This is going to be my current team. <laughs> uh, damn it, I forgot this guy. I forgot this guy is immune to the ghost because it's a normal type. Yeah, all normal types are immune. That's why I brought a normal type in with me. That's why I brought uh, slacking into my into my thing with me. Uh, should I grab the sci by closer? I well, I mean, if you need, I can trade you some normal types if you'd like. Seeing as I've already finished uh, the gym. Uh, sure. Just give me a moment. No, no rush. I can. I guess I'll just. Uh get myself set up to do the trade then. Well, because it already has my code memorized, so I'm just gonna... Oh, fuck. I hit Link Raid Battle, not Trade. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Right. Link Raid. Hey. Hey, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, I can see it now. Oh, yeah, it remembers. You can search. Yep. There we go. I'm just switching back to my normal model. Okay, let me see. Um, some Pokemon I can I offer you if you want, just because I'm probably not going to be using this again. Actually, this Pokemon will be super effective in the gym just because of its Shadow Claw. It's okay. a normal type, which means it's immune, and it has Shadow Claw, which is super effective against Ghost Pokemon. And it's already level 46. Uh, well, for that, I'll help you with your Pokedex entry. What about this Pokemon? Have you got this one? Uh, no, I do not. Although, you'll probably want to get its... Around. You'll probably want to get its two pre-evolve forms, though, this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one you can get in a raid pretty easily, because uh, I've seen it in raid dens, because that's where I got it originally. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. one, the other one you can just catch in the wild. It's uh, in one yeah, of the I lower know, level areas. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I... I know. I think I saw one. Yep, I'm I guarantee gone. you, this Pokemon can solo carry, practically. So it's like a tank. Oh yeah, it's built like a freaking tank. Well, howdy doody! As I said, I I'll mainly just... Yeah, I mainly just had this for going through the, the gym specifically. Um, trying to think what else could I offer you. Oh, there we go. Lily again. Uh, trying to think what else could I trade that you might need. Well, remember, oh. I have the tap. 
I have to tackle uh, three gyms. What was it again? Uh, um, you said the psychic gym was another one you had to do? Yeah, and the ice one. Well, here's the thing. That Pokemon I traded you will also be good in the psychic gym, too. Be I can't... Because it has a ghost move. Is it immune to um, psychic types? It's not what? immune, but it, it's uh, resistant to. It'll take less damage. Normal are resistant well, to psychic. Well, anything else you wanted to try it in? Uh, the only other thing I could think of would maybe maybe be my Blissey. Uh, well, uh, okay. I'll I'll try you with this uh stamp the uh, stamp stantler. Although you'll probably want to level up Blissey a bit. It's only level thirty nine. I'll give credits to Chris too. Well, I mean, I, I only leveled it up just to evolve it. I didn't really care about actually using it in combat. Well, it helps me with the Pokedex entry. Mm, that's true. That's true. Although I found this Stantler, you might recognize Oh, it. and also this Blissey has a Shadow Ball as well, so that's another thing that'll be useful in that gym battle. Wait, wait, what Shadow Ball? Blissey has Shadow Ball. Another oh, ghost move. Your... Oh, I didn't see your stream! Oh, it comes in handy oh. anyway. Yeah, it'll be super effective against both the ghost and psychic gym if you level it up. That's why I was saying it'd be a good pick. A normal type? Normal type are immune to ghost. And it has yeah. a ghost move. So, you get a little extra incentive to use it. Ah, and that's another thing I needed for my Pokedex. Okay, let's see. What else can I offer that might be helpful? Let's see. I got a... Pelly... Pelipper. Pelipper. And it's, um... Uh, let's see. It's Terra... It's Terra Transformation. It's just fire. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, of weird, we huh? Could... <coughs> ah, bless your face. Uh, hmm. Try to think. What else? What else? What else? What else? Wait a second. You don't have a skip loom? I'm sorry. What? Do you? I guess you I don't have a skip. I guess I don't. You don't have. I guess I don't. Oh, well, let me help you with that one. Hmm. Trey. Doesn't matter. Uh, well, here's another Pokemon that might be helpful. Pyroar. It's a fire normal type. Let me see this. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, this of ought course. to help you with the gym. Just again, because uh, normal type. So, uh, and you need to ghost moves. Okay. It's only level 35, so you'll want to level it up a bit, and I think think you can teach it, like, a few ghost moves, like, uh, Shadow Claw, but you gotta get, like, the TM for um, it. Yeah, I, I need, yeah, oh, wait, I do have it. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If you have the TM for Shadow Claw, you can teach it Shadow Claw, I'm pretty sure. I mean, uh, I do, I mean, I need to collect some of the stuff from the, from the Ghastly. Oh, and also, this one has a different evolved form if it's female. Well, I mean, it's the same Pokemon, it just looks different if it's female. Uh, yeah, well, I saw one. I know what it is. Yeah, yeah. The male version is, uh, better... F I think it's better f special attack, and the female is better physical attack. Which, I guess, is more true to real life, because, I mean, generally speaking, it was the females that would do the hunting. Oh, like, actual IRL lions. Yes. I still find that weird when I found that out the lion, the lion is still the hunting. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, in most other animal tribes, it's usually the males that do the hunting, right? Yeah, usually. I mean, they go out and literally, quote-unquote, slay queen. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry, it's, it's such a lame expression, but at the same time, it is very applicable. It is very applicable. 
Oh, uh, do you need Doug Trio by any chance? Because it seems to be Doug shaking. Doug Trio. I don't think I have a Doug Trio. Mm. Okay, well, it's also holding a hard stone, so it also boosts the stone attacks that it has. Let me find, find one for you. Hold on. Uh... You can just trade me whatever if, if you think I might need it. You want a primate? Uh, sure, I guess. It's level 35. Oh, that'll help. Yeah. <laughs> I've already got Mankey, my... so that saves me having to evolve my Mankey. Fair enough. That is one less help, thing I need to deal with. Eh, well... All right, I should probably hit the thing. Yeah, yeah, I, I noticed. You didn't need to say anything. <laughs> I'm dumb. I noticed. I'll admit I'm dumb, but I'm not that dumb. Unless I am. Oh, easy does it. Well, there you go. I actually raised that from a diglet to Doug Trio. Nice. Yep. So there you go. That should help you with the gym, I imagine. Not necessarily the Doug Trio. I figure Doug Trio is just good for like other battles. Plus, it'll also help you with the Pokedex entries. Uh, trying to think. Your uncle. Huh? Bob, your uncle. I guess. Eh. Trying to think. What else would be good that I have? Of, uh, nothing else that I'm really willing to part with at the moment, I think. Wait, do you not have Wiglet? Because apparently Wiglet's bouncing around. I don't have a Wiglet. Apparently Wiglet, you, I know you, I know Wiglet you can catch in like the early game area. So like Wiglet's a really can early you? game Pokemon. Yeah, I, I couldn't catch it. Oh, well, you can probably go back there now and just throw a quick ball at it and get it in seconds. Uh, how do you find? How do you find the uh, Rotom? Rotom? Yeah, I I got it in a raid den. Oh. Yeah, I also got the magazine to change it and it change its typing, so I'm gonna be using that later on it. Ah, eh, fair enough. Yeah, I you do you. I think that's about all I'm willing to offer up, other than. Yeah. All right. Actually, no, no, there's one more Pokemon, actually. Um, Bronzor. Huh? Bronzor? Uh, this little thing. That's like the little metal coin Pokemon. I already got its evolve form, so I don't need it anymore. I, I only caught... Me... Yeah, I only caught this just so I could get the, the data for a Pokedex. Hmm. Ah, I could trade you this one. Uh, sure. I mean, I never bothered catching that, but I guess it'll help with the Pokedex that data. Little, it's that little metal bug Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've seen it. I've seen it about. I just haven't bothered catching it. Because every time I tried, or every time I feel like if I was going to try it, because I was over-leveled, or under-leveled, I think. I forget. It was either over- or under-leveled in the area at the well, time. Well, this Pokemon is a terror. It's, it's a fighting Terra. That's not bad. I'm pretty sure it learns fighting moves naturally, so, you know, that's still good. Uh, I hope. I feel like it can learn fighting moves naturally. Could be. There we go. I think that's it for now. Yeah, that should be good enough for now. Yeah. Yeah, at the very least, uh,. The uh, slacking and the uh, ch the blissy. Let's see. Those should be good enough for the ghost gym. That's your duo right there. Although you'll probably want to level gotcha. up the blissy a bit. I'm already on it. I'm clicking it. Ooh, Pikachu! Oh, fire Pikachu! <laughs> All right. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm gonna end stream in a bit. So. Let's find oh. someone to raid really quick. 
Oh, gotta get love the, the ad that I have randomly. It's uh, V for victory. Yes. What the heck do I find on uh, um, Dragon? Clearly Titan. not an adult game. Hey, Omega, do you know how to find a Dragon Titan? A Dragon Titan? Uh, I think that's the last one. Uh, not off the top of my head, no. But I know it's by that giant-ass lake in the north side of the map. That's about all I know. It's by the lake somewhere. So you'll need to have the swim ability to even battle it. I'm pretty sure. Like, right now I'm trying to find uh, someone to raid. Let's see. Let's raid... Yeah, you know what? Let's raid Endless here. Okay, copy their name. Oh, kidding! Slash Are you random? Are you like having problems? Raid. I guess for anyone that's just reading in the chat, uh, there's the name of the channel I'm reading. Anyways, uh, I'm just going to deaf for a second. So, be right back. Anyways, let's uh, hit the old ending screen here. Anyways, until next time, this is Timothy signing out. Uh, you guys have a good one. Uh, I'm going to do a special stream tomorrow as well. Um, haven't decided exactly what I'm going to stream. I have a few ideas. But until next time, let's do this thing out. And uh, you guys have a good one. Get uh, get dabbed on. Anyways. <laughs> bye bye uh, Say hi to Endless for me. Bye!